we have no jewels tonight at this point. She is at play practice. When she gets home a little after 9, she may just go to bed because she has school tomorrow. So I do not expect to have jewels tonight. Adam has her sheet. By the way, when she comes in, I'm hiding all of her bennies and saying they're all gone. Oh, oh, may I ask a question too? <laughs> Before we uh, start the game, uh, it's been a while since we said this. We have leveled up. Maybe we could just go around and say how many stamina, how many hit points, and maybe what your KAC and EAC are so people who are listening know. All right, so I'm the GM. I have infinite whatever I want. <laughs> um, you, you have whatever the plot dictates is necessary. Yes. Robo Cosell is impervious to all forms of damage. I hate you. Oh, I, hate I tried. Robo-Cosell I tried so to kill badly. him. Uh, he just kept dodging. It was amazing. We, we might have to see just how impervious to damage yeah. he is. No, Henry. <laughs> oh, you want your bed? Uh, uh, well, Ozzy, Ozzy, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, you got it. Go. Go. Uh, Ozzy has twenty hit points, which is good because he uses all of them. Mm. Not well, not yet. Close. And sixteen stamina, which he uses all of regularly. I at least he shows us 14 hit points and 10 stamina. Mm. And that's the difference between a Vesk soldier and a uh, Lashunta Demaya Technomancer. Uh, how about resolve? Are you at... You're low, aren't My you? resolve has been reset. We, you guys, you guys camped out when you were sick. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And your resolve gets all the way restored when you sleep a full night. Yep. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just like, oh, okay. To the best of my knowledge. Uh, Ghost, the Yosoki operative, has 14 stamina and 14 hit points. KAC is 16 and EAC or KAC is 15 no no KAC is 16 and EAC is 15 in second skin armor Naala she is uh, at 16 hit points 8 stamina points and 5 resolve points wait a minute Uh, you're level 2 yeah. I think your stamina should be closer, should be in the teens. You may have neglected to... My con is only a seven? Is that what it's based on? Uh, I don't recall. You, can look you probably didn't add it when you leveled up. I feel like it's more, even with a seven con. I did zero adding. I just plugged the numbers into the uh, spreadsheet. And you are Lashunta and Demaya. I'm boy. Uh, yeah, Demaya. Oh, you're both Demaya. And Trigger, what do you got? Uh, uh, Trigger, um, stamina points of 16, uh, hit points of 14, plus he can also use his six temporary hit points. Um, so that would give him a total of 20. Nice. And then uh, his EAC is 14, his KAC is 15. And then his AC versus combat maneuvers is 23. Nice. Mikey, Jeff brought six kinds of bourbon tonight. <laughs> six kinds of bourbon, Jeffy. Uh, Jeff, I just looked it up. Your envoy, every time they level, they get six hit points. Further, their stamina points, you add six plus your con modifier. So you... Is it, could it be minus my con modifier as well? It, yeah. If you have a negative. So what was your negative penalty? Minus two. So your baseline 12... Minus four, we put you at eight. Is that what you said you had? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Squishy. Not everybody can be as tough as uh, uh, Vesk over as here. As the Vesk over You know, when you level, hit level five, man, you got to put a point towards Constitution for sure. When he hits level five, he's going to get all kinds of cool skills. That, oh, that's why I chose Envoy, because I think Envoy gets a plus one uh, oh, to count. Uh, so that I could later on go up. And you know, for 1,400 credits, you can do a uh, personal improvement and give yourself a plus two to con right now. All you need is 1,400 credits. <laughs> okay. And, and to be off the drift rock. <laughs> well, yeah, and not to currently be on a drift rock. And ghost? I already said. Okay. I think you had stepped away. I was supposed to be good. I was watching Adam. Adam, stop eating. Can't help myself. I'm good. I should have left the uh, tomatoes and <laughs> didn't let us out with that. <laughs> Maybe pickles. I'll, I'll give it all right. So, so when, when we last left off, you guys had traveled to the drift to the Acreon drift rock. You had explored the Acreon. You had fought several um, Akatas, which I played wrong because they were supposed to be resistant to fire damage, which made them much harder to kill. It would have been. You um, had two um, goblins. Uh, Plarnock and Felraz join you. Um, they are less than impressive. <laughs> They're not combat worthy. You would retrieve Grevelosh Noor's package, 
a large eight foot box that you put on the hippocampus, load it on there, and then you traveled, flew over to the uh, drift rock where you noted uh, this, sh you found the cave entrance that was referenced by the logs of the Acreon crew. And the cave entrance is by the hot guy with the, the single guy that Bob is buying this, is buying this guy's head. I'll move it. Um, and they found a ship there as well. They hailed you, and it turns out uh, they are from wherever the Ghost and Trigger are from. Ghost and Trigger recognized, um, Ghost recognized the guy with the red dot on his head there. I think mm. that's supposed to be an android, but it's a, a human. Um, as Argus, is that what you call them? Mm -hmm. I believe. And Argus asked you to come home, to which you flatly um, denied in that option. You convinced Nala to fire on them. And that is where we pick up. Nala, would you like to give the order? What's that? Would you like to give the order? Fire. D does anybody else feel like we're dealing with uh, Lieutenant Womack from Firefly? <laughs> 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 when, when they're trying to get you know the, the guy with the, bat, with the, the organ smuggler. And they're uh, trying to pick him up. <laughs> so the, um, do you want to, you guys had rolled a science, uh, at least he rolled a science check and not succeeded. Um, did you, were you targeting something when you fired uh, Ozzy? I, only if I was told to, I don't recall. So you're just firing in the general vicinity? Yeah. Am I rolling? If you wish. Fifteen. I don't know what I get pluses to. I don't remember ship combat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, conveniently, it is not ship to ship combat. Okay. The the the, the um, fifteen's a good roll. Yeah. Your 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 laser comes down. It is absorbed by a shield, which is what we expected. Channeled into some other device, it fires back. Oh. Grabs hold of the hippocampus and begins pulling it down. I need a. Um, so it's a laser activated tractor beam. It's actually re re reusing the fire, the, the power you provided to it. That's very efficient. Mm. Yeah, it's, and it's only one time right now. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I don't expect we'll be able to buy this deck. <laughs> Wait, this is technically none, none of you have ever seen. We have a laser turret. We also have a... We have a coil gun. Do we not have a coil gun as well? I fired that too. Fired the projector. I don't know that Hippocampus has two. Projector, you're fired. <laughs> Get out of here. Clear out your desk. I need, Mike, I need a, um, a pilot check. Yep. Am I so just for maneuver or? Uh, do not crash. <laughs> do, do not crash. Okay, piloting check. Hang on. That is okay. So the butterscotch. Twenty. Um, sixteen plus eight. Twenty-four. All right. So nice one. Um, if Bob, can you zoom out? Yeah, absolutely. On the map, Mike. If you zoom into the map, you should uh, yep. see. How long did it take you to think of that? What? The tractor beam. He had like three weeks. I, don't uh, know, I want to know like at what point. Down there in the bottom. I got it. Whatever you do, drag this down to the uh, surface. Uh, honestly, that was this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I knew um, since, since you successfully made the piloting check, you, I, will, I will let you put the ship down where you wish to put it on the map. Uh, I'm going to change the layer to be the token layer. and I'm going to top of their ship. No, you can't land it. Oh, we can't land it where they are. Every square is uh, how many feet? Is it a five foot or a ten foot? No, but if he puts the nose at them, I can fire on them with two cannons at a time. You can't fire on the ground. Well, what's the difference? Oh man, how do I not give them? There could be a I think, I think I'm going to put it behind one of these big craters, guys. That's that's kind of that's kind of what I was expecting. All right, I can't figure out how to give you access to move this because it's not treating like an actual token. Um, this. So, so Josh, there's a big crater like right below the three guys' tokens. Okay, so that that this is a big crater you could actually land in. This is a mountain with a crater on top, so you could hide. You could land behind this to gain cover. Same over here. Ah, okay. Same over here. I didn't see that one back up there. Yeah, I like that one better. That one there. Yeah. Do you want to move anywhere else in this vicinity? I I, I can move you a little more over this way or whatever you want to do. I'll give it to you. The other thing is, you do have a crater above them, like right here. That uh, that's the one, the one that's a, the one that's on top of them with a big rock in the middle. Oh, oh okay. That's I, what you're looking at. Oh, um, their shield extends over that. You can't land there. Son of a. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. So then, where we are, I think, is okay, Josh. Sure. 
I couldn't give you the high ground. We all know from Star Wars that once you have the high ground, it's all it's over. All over. <laughs> yeah. We have the high ground, Dargus. You are finished. This all is right. how we kill Darth Vader. <laughs> hey, how, so how do we reprogram the Kobayashi Maru? <laughs> We're right. talking about that work the other day. Elise, <laughs> Ghost, Nala. I cheated. Ozzy, <laughs> Trigger. I assume that you're going to leave the goblins in the ship, so that they're not. The goblins are welcome to lead us into battle. No, are they, they are. Our ship? We're not leaving them alone in the ship. It's got their, our Nakwita. They can fly away with the ship. They've got our shipment. Can we lock them up somehow? Stand behind me. No, we, right, let, we, let, them, let, them, let them come fight for their lives too. We could easily entice them to more treasures by coming with us. Goblins, yeah, that's what we let them, let come with us and we will us. not kill you. Okay, we like the sound of that. You have a chance. Hmm? Come with us. Oh, if us you want, want to leave, leave. <laughs> I would not say that. Let me find there. Goblin 1, Goblin 2, perfect. Henry, are you breathing? <laughs> He's got his face like in the corner of the of the. It, it's it's like he it's almost like he was just like laying like his whole face was covered. I dated a gal who, when she slept, she would like cover herself completely with two pillows and a blanket, with like just the tiniest little air hole. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if she shifts in the slightest, she's just gonna get bad air all night. It seemed like a bad idea. Not not my cup of tea for sure. So you're saying you're not in the suffocation or anything like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Move it on. Right then. All right. Um, so you've, you've landed. Uh, we can roll for initiative then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have to roll initiative for? Sorry. <laughs> you talk her, I talk her way out of it. I leave, uh, uh, what uh, do we have to do? Yeah. Ghost got a 14. This thing. Or we'll walk her. Clear. Next, that. You're hired. And all those. You're suspect. Wow, I added all you in there really quick. By selecting and then right clicking, right? Yep. Isn't that nice? What'd you get, Jeff? 24. Pop that in for you. Done. Ozzy. Ozzy got a 17. 17, eh? All right. Elise got an 11. Elise is that sitting on 11. And trigger. All I have um, right now is all I have right now is ghosts 14. I don't have any other ones. Dude. Hang on. Elise is 11. You said. Yeah. How come Correct. it's not taken? It's all. Thank you. Oh, I had a hit. Entry. 20. I got a 20. Oh, no, I see the mob. Gotcha. All right. Give me a second here to roll up my guys. Whoa, Nala uh, killed it. Me. Nala did really well. Did you get a natural 20 then? Uh, 18. 18, nice. Did she take a proof of it? I think she did. Yeah. Whoa! That was impressive. 21. Oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, somebody roll for the goblins. They don't get plus anything. Uh, Four. Not, not me. Roll for a second goblin. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was impressive. That, that's how much we care about our goblins. Four. All righty. Um, I, I, I legit just rolled the one when you asked me to do that. That's not you good. You know what? Good, Mike. Now your one for the year is completed. Yeah. Get it out of your system. That's, yep. that's good. Let a goblin roll the one. You can roll the high numbers. That hurts. A seven. With bonuses. Alrighty. Descending. Oops. Wow, go Nala. She did well, didn't she? Yes. Alright, um, game battle on. Nala, it's you. Alright, what do I see? So you guys are hiding behind the um, crater. Yep. The raised crater there. You know they're on the other side. Was it, are those androids? Did you say? Or are those no, they're, they're they are um, the people who contacted us. Contacted uh, the Yasaki on our ship. Yes, and they have they've actually spread out a little bit. Come on. 
The one that has the Android icon is an older, kind of a gray-haired human with a bit of a British accent. So they've spread out a little bit. You can't see if there's any more in the cave. One that uh, I've labeled them. Oh, you can't see this. So this guy looks like he's heading toward the ship. Mm -hmm. This guy's fanning out like he's coming after after you guys. And then the one, uh, the leader that the doll is speaking, Argus, is taking um, room in the cave. Gray-haired British accent. Good luck. <laughs> All right, not a option. Um, you guys do have time. I mean, it is a, it is a, oh, it is zero G. It is zero gravity. Mm. You want to pull that rule up, Bob, quick? Uh, should be zero. Yep, before. I'm on it. It's, okay. it's a thousand feet across. They're should asteroid. Should be zero. Okay, it's point zero 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 two G. Okay. <laughs> Basically, I think you move and nothing stops you. So if I fire my big cannon, do I just like spin over backwards? No, because you can brace yourself. Page 402. I had written this up and sent it out. I know you did. If I use my whip, do I do I Here it is. tumble forwards? Moving in zero G uh, is not the same as flight. Uh, you cannot move without propulsion. You need something to push off of, otherwise you will float aimlessly. You cannot take move actions to speed crawl. You cannot take guarded steps. So um, you can push off of an object, and that will move you at half your land speed in whatever direction you choose. You will just keep on moving that round, and the next round, and the next round. Forever. I'm going to jump as high as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to overcome gravity here? There's this could no be bad. bad. I'm no, real fuzzy on this whole good bad thing. There's no gravity. There's no gravity. It's uh, point zero 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 two g Remember, we talked about that. So you push yeah. off. And I am going to fire speed. at the one that's coming towards us. The one that's I'm the one. I this is me, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to fire at the one just to the to my. I, I would hazard that I'll I will give you the opportunity to crawl at, at a speed of two. Okay. That way you can at least move some. Okay. Uh, they they appear to have some um, equipment Bullshit. that allows them to move. Uh, if you have, uh, does anybody in the party have climb speed? Like, um, not the ability to climb, but you actually have, like a, like a monkey alien, the ability to climb at your speed, like that. If you do, then zero G becomes a little easier for you. But if you don't, never mind. I will hide behind the coward. What's you you climb up to the ridge of the crater. And shoot. With my laser. Okay. Hey Adam. Yeah. For the for the record, uh, for everybody, Bobby, why don't put this in the chat? Uh, the goblins mm -hmm. have a um, junk laser plus three, so it's one d four fire, critical burn one d four. What's their chance to explode? <laughs> uh, we throw them at the... I forget what it is. Don't worry about it right now. Like a missile. Anything else you want me to put for notes for them? Uh, that would be so disappointing. They have six hit points. They have an EAC of 11 and a KAC of 12. Uh, Adam's going to fire them like a missile at <laughs> He's going to pull a grenade off, nice. of their, off the back of them like and just it. fire it at the... I'm going to shoot my as an okay. Oh, here it is, actually. If the wielder of a junk laser rolls a natural one when attacking with it, he must immediately attempt a DC-18 engineering check. Success means that the junk laser gains the broken condition. Failure means the gun explodes in 1D3 minus 1 rounds. Functioning as a frag grenade 1D6. Range 15. A result of zero rounds means the drunk laser explodes immediately. You can throw it as a grenade in that case. In 1d6 rounds? 1d3 one one minus 1. Oh. So it's zero, one, or two rounds. <laughs> I'm going to shoot my a laser pistol at him. That's the one who's closest to me. All right. 17. A second, I'm gonna give him a dot. It's so a good know. roll. That's a solid roll. That's blue dot, get and him. this one is. Give him a boy, blue. Green dot. Do you want to get him? I didn't move, so I should also do <coughs> as a move action. My get him. Ah, uh, I gotta do get him to the guy who's going towards the ship. Focus fire. Leave it to you. You're our fearless leader. 
What is there, eight of us now? Seven of us? Seven. I gotta go for all on blue. Okay. All on blue? Get blue. So that's an 18 on blue to hit. 18 on blue to hit is a hit. Four damage. Ooh, nice. nice. All right. He takes, the, he takes the shot. Argus. Argus Filch? Uh, they are from the academy. They will be very good at fighting. Argus takes a giant leap. He has appears, appears to have a jetpack type device. Ends up over here. Lands prone and fires on... Who's this one? It's one of the Yosoki. That's, that's Bob. That's Ghost. Probably Ghost. Yep, that's Ghost. Does Ghost have any cover? Natural 20. Uh, doesn't not matter. A, not a cover? Cover doesn't matter. <laughs> it's actually, hit. it could turn the crit into a normal hit. Yes. Uh, one D eight. Oh, he has, just has a ranged assault rifle. He has no special ability with that, so it's just two D eight plus four. Oh, one D eight plus four each. So I get two That's D8. a good point. What, the cover gives me minus two. Mm, what, I, had, I rolled a twenty nine with oh, okay. the bonus. All right, never mind. Well, I mean, if you're if you're to hit, 12. I mean, my you yes, had armor and armor. dex and all that stuff, so that you had twenty 30. points of damage. Whoa. Holy! All of my stamina, fourteen points, are gone. Uh, then that's six points into my hit points, leaving me with just eight hit points left. I am you got rocked, totally rocked. That's Dude, it was it was 20? it was a D eight plus four, hmm? and I rolled two D eight plus four. I rolled two sixes. Wow. <laughs> so I rolled ten and ten each time. All right, stay There's here, the breaks, man. I'll take care of you. Wow. Shoot, that is bad. What'd you shoot? I forgot something. I told my wife. Right. Everybody's got plenty of serums, too, guys. Yes, that's true. All right, uh, Trigger, you're up. Uh, Trigger's gonna. So, so Argus is prone, so he he is a he also has a bonus minus two to. Mm -hmm. For you to target him. So, the guy with the red dot in his face. That's I Argus. Can, I can, I can target him, right? Yes. But you do get a plus one to hit blue right now because uh, Nala, our leader, activated get him. Blue is on the other side of the mountain crater, so he, Trigger can't see. So I have to move to try to get yes. him. Yes. True. Yes. But you don't. Also, it's a minus two to hit red dot, and it's there's no minuses to hit blue. Just a plus one to hit. Blue. There's no there's no what? minus to green either. Why is there a minus to hit red dot? Because he fell prone. He went prone tactically. Oh oh he he's the one who went prone. Okay. Yep. I thought the blue guy was the one who jumped and then went prone. Mm -hmm. Well, if he's prone, I can just shoot over him and hit the green guy. You can. The blue blue dots don't get him. Yes. No, I just spread that fire all over. Yeah, I... Tried to charm, it's not in here. Well, I I mean, I, you know, moving is obviously very difficult in zero gravity. <laughs> you can move two squares. I'm giving you guys the movement of two squares that they. Slow meandering. I, we wouldn't call it a crawl. We'll just call it a shuffle. Bound. You could yeah. also it, you so you could crawl two squares, or you could push off in zero g and move half your speed. But then next turn you will keep on moving half your speed until you crash into something, or you try to stop yourself with an acrobatics check. I mean, to be fair, there's nothing to push off of here. Oh, one of us. Oh yeah, that would push us off in an equal and opposite direction. It would. It, but there's enough of us that if he pushes off of, uh, say... I suppose we could brace ourselves. Nylisi, who falls into you, yeah, then that would stop it, probably. And just send me Karina. All right, I, I'm, I'm just going to shoot. I'm just going to shoot at the green guy. Okay. I like my... I'm not patient for this shit. I'm just shooting something. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, 18. EAC of 12, that is clearly a hit. Hmm. Okay. My he, it looks like he's operating, the, he, he's operating the controls that brought your ship down. Oh, There's a that's control panel. Son of a, okay. Uh, four points of damage. It seems to be your guys' magic number today. That works. All right. Uh, uh, do you you uh, did move, so do you want to drop prone, Trigger? Uh, that could work. Uh, yes. Oh. Now it's to you, Oz. 
What is Ozzy going to do? It's just not enough movement to get up there in any decent amount of time. That is the problem. I think I'm just going to fire my uh, azimuth laser, artillery laser. And which guy? Fire the laser. High powered laser. At uh, blue. Zero, zero, zero G's as, as basic. We don't have anything to deal with this guy, so no, no, we no. just need to. We got fire extinguisher. You got fire extinguisher? Are you are you uh, minus are you... nineteen? I'm not the only one. I think uh, Ozzy's got a fire. I extinguisher. I thought you were um, what's his name? You were uh, Wally, the fire extinguisher. <laughs> 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 you missed horribly. All right. Do, do I get anything for a critical failure? Am I spinning end over end now? In the in the in the podcast, I've been listening to their critical failure deck, and some of them are bad. I will give you the option to, to try to advance if you want to. Two kills and bow. No. Just going to hunker down? Yeah. You know what she said not to have happen? There's not enough movement to make it worthwhile to go out there. All right. Um, Ozzy went and ghost. Ghost is targeting guy in green with the control panel. All right. He's using his trick attack. If the control well, panel... I forgot guy... to add one to my hit. Oh. oh, never mind. I still missed. <laughs> uh, is the CR on green guy six or less? Yes. The trick attack is successful, which means he is now flat-footed. He fires, and is an EAC enough? Uh, rather, 15 enough against yes. EAC? Yes, his EAC is only like 11. That's a hit. Wars. He rolled minimum damage, 1, but the trick attack damage gave him 3 for 4 fire damage. 4 damage. You guys are just consistent. You're the model of consistency. Chip, chip away. And when I had a chance to do, to, do, to do higher than that, so it's 0 or 4. Uh, and he drops prone. All right. Because <laughs> you got hammered last time. Oh, uh, actually, no. He does not drop prone. He, uh, he hides behind some people. He reaches to his wrist, and he presses a couple of buttons, and then all of a sudden there are... Two of them. Four other ghosts. <laughs> there are four ghosts now, and st- or five if you include the original ghost. Nice. It's a lot of ghosts. Yeah. All right. Um, there's a tie wow. next in the initiative uh, order. I will let ILEC go next instead. ILEC says, oh, Run what, forward. Did sh- what did he just shoot at us with? That's really neat. What's that guy doing over there? Oh, wow. Check that out. Hey, there's a guy over there too. I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> Is that is that for Ilyse or is that I'm gonna use that as communal. That, that, that's for Adam Adam's personal discretion tonight. <laughs> uh, and then oh, Ilyse is going to daze uh, 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 Womack. I forgot what his name is. Already. Argus. Argus. Uh, I don't think Ilyse can. Is he CR three or lower? He's no. probably much no. better than that. Okay. You wouldn't know that. I was gonna say so. I failed. You failed. Okay. Now I couldn't do that to Jules, but I can do that to Adam. <laughs> You could though. You could. I could, but I, but Jules is still learning, so. Surprise! There's not a roll for it. For days. Yeah. Uh, it's well, it's a save. Yeah. Oh, there is a save. Yeah, a, w- a saving throw will negates, but I have yeah. no idea when it happens or what my will save. So they're an automatic. What the uh, CR is. Uh, I think it's ten plus your uh, ability to cast a spell, whatever your spell bonus is. Okay, that's good to know. What is your so plus like four? So fourteen is your base. Okay. Which is pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Alrighty. Can that's you not f- do that? You're gonna make me sick. That's a seventy percent chance of uh, success. Uh, All right. Stop. So Stop. they. Uh, I at least went. Thank you. Um. Did, did you know? <laughs> All right. So the, how, does, how does targeting ghost work? Uh, you just say you want to shoot me and roll. So, which one of you? A- oh, oh, right. The mirror image thing. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, go ahead and roll, and let me dig up that definition real quick. Okay, so um, you, you, you didn't see it before, but now you see a shot comes out from on top of the ledge. Oh, where we couldn't land before? <laughs> wow, 15 I hope we can get through the shot. plus 8 is uh, 23. Nope, that's what it is. That's on this. 23. What do you what, 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 23, Bob? So my EAC is uh, 15, and I just have to look up the spell mirror image. And don't forget, 
the images. real bio, the real one is behind the crater. When you cast <laughs> mirror image, it creates one to four figment images. These images remain in your space, may move with you, mimicking your movements, sounds, and actions exactly. Whenever you're attacked or you're the target of a spell that requires an attack roll, there's a possibility the attack will target one of your images instead. If right. the attack hits, which it did, roll randomly to see whether the selected target is real or a figment. If it's a figment, the figment is destroyed. If the attack misses by five or less, one of your figments is destroyed by the near miss. And an attack that misses you due to a mischance also destroys an image. Okay. So it didn't miss. It definitely hit. All right, so roll a 1d20. If it's one through four, it's you. Otherwise, it's one of your... It's one of your... Sounds reasonable to me. I am doing math in my head now. I was going to use a 1d10. So that if would work it's too. one through four, it's me? Yes. Yeah. Twelve. So the... The hold on a second. What are they shooting? Um, the oh, dang it! I forgot to use sound effects. Yeah. It's space. Oh, you gotta check up the. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. I think your sound effects were perfect. In space, uh, no oh. one can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Fine. We won't use, we won't use sound effects then if you really want. No. Um, it the was good. A, a. I didn't hear anything. A <laughs> rifle blows past, uh, whips past Ghost's ear. Taking out the um, transparent, the, the mirror image next to him. So he's down to three images. Oh, the mirror images. image gets hit in the head. There's an explosion as Ghost's holographic head explodes in blood and gore and then fizzles out. <laughs> explodes now, in blood and gore that doesn't hit anybody. That's right. Now there are four images of Ghost left. And then four images of Ghost raise their hand and give him the finger in unison. Dang, you're tough. All right. Uh, the trooper advances. Uh, he moves slow like you guys, so he moves two squares. He's able to target Nala now. Is easily. he crawling as well, or is he going for zero G? Is he pushing off? I, I'm I, I'm not going to call it crawling because I'm not going to give everybody cover. Let me drag the combat out. I'm just saying you're shuffling slowly. Okay. You know, um, and it, it's a very controlled movement. That's what will give you a movement or two. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah. Sure. All right. So he's uh, targeting Nala. And uh, where is my? Whoa, fifteen Jeez. plus. Where's the like sevens and tens for fuck's sake? Um, five is twenty. Good. See, I think the, the NPCs in this game have just really good two hit rolls. Yeah, well, he's also rolling really well. I yeah I have yeah. All right, I rolled that. I rolled a one. Hit. His hit rolls are rolling really well. <laughs> two damage for the tactical semi-auto pistol. Wow. <laughs> that really hurt. Honestly, who throws a shoe? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, two goblins are remaining. Take them out. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Green Trooper is good to go too. I, I made them go at the same time. Um, he continues to operate the, the functionality. Um, Locking our ship down? No, actually, your ship takes off and flies away. Mother. Puss bucket. Ours does? Yes. Oh, sorry. Mother dick. <laughs> Was there another goblin on there? One, two. No, they are all here. Oh, what happened? Maybe they multiplied when they were in the ship. Did somebody let them get wet? Trigger, did you leave the parking brake on? I thought you <laughs> left the parking brake on. No, then it would, no, then it would sound like the, sound like the TARDIS. <laughs> That's good reference. They're controlling our ship. Actually, no. it, heads, it, it takes off and it, heads, it looks like it's heading right toward... Uh, Absalom Station. We can tell that from here. Is Robo Cosell yeah. on the ship, or is Robo? Oh, on Robo Cosell is totally with you. Damn it! <laughs> but you can't hear him because Adam won't let me talk when there's no. <laughs> uh, Unless he has a direct tie into our comms, which he probably does. Unfortunately. Yes, it does. Robo Cosell. Oh, the the homing beacon on the hippocampus has finally been activated, returning it and its precious cargo to Absalon Station. Stranding our intrepid heroes and explorers and starfinders here for who knows what will happen next. I just what? want you to know that our prices just doubled. Tell the ambassador of Eox that if he is sending the sheep back, our prices have doubled. <laughs> All right, goblins are up. We do seem to be a bit stranded at the moment. Mm. Should have left those goblins on. Uh... <laughs> uh, the goblins what? can shoot anybody based on how far back they are. They can crawl. They, could, they have, they have... Oh, are we group deciding this? 
No, I think they. Sh- I think we. So Josh, you roll and yeah, you guys. Yeah. yeah, you guys. You guys run them. Why don't they shoot at blue? They got a plus one to hit on blue. Go ahead. Uh, you also said shoot that guy. I mean, they're All not right. smart, right? He's. I'm going for blue. Okay. Four. That's a miss. You got the other one? Nope. The other Tr- one. Trigger? Oh, okay. Eleven? No. Oh no! It, actually, it might be with a plus one. Is that That's twelve? Right, Put them at twelve. Plus whatever their. Yeah. What did they? What do we give them in the? Uh... Oh yeah, uh, going up, going up to the stats. They get a plus one d five plus three damage. They don't get. They don't get a bonus. Doesn't there. look like there's any bonuses. So it's a plus twelve. It's, it's a twelve period. Is it twelve a tie? On a tie, do you get? Do you, you, you hit, hit on a tie? So so. Um, you're you're get him. Fel, Felraz or Plarnai? Which one? Oh, Felmac. Felraz. <laughs> <laughs> Plarnock or Felraz? Plarnock. Plarnock. <laughs> pulls the trigger. And he hit. Uh, oh, that happened! This never happened! Did you see it? And of course, now there's like this 20 minute conversation, it feels like, between the two of them just chattering away about. Did you how see we... me take out this thing, <laughs> Go ahead. It's 1d3 plus 1 damage, Jeff. Uh, 1d4 plus 3. Oh, oh 1d4 plus 3? Is he so amazed that he hit the other Four one? Four damage. He forgets to shoot. He doesn't even know. No, the other guy. Just, yeah, the other guy's like, my turn! And he's. Still talking. <laughs> Does he hit one of us? So I want you to do so four. Like, so this guy's a level four creature at least. Mm-hmm. This guy is. Yeah. Yes, the other two are not. Necessarily. Right. Goblins, goblins, get to the ground now. Go prone. Get to the ground. Why? It's all sand. You don't want to eat the sand? Yes, better to eat sand than eat a laser no, blast. No, he didn't. He didn't. Look at the bad guy. I am down. I Look, I am on the ground. Mm. Look at the bad guy over there. He is on the ground. Get on the ground now. Unless you want to die. I want a hug later. We are not hugging. <laughs> <laughs> now you're up. All right. I am going to game. use my no. inspiring word. He's, he, he's Jamie from Adam from Mythbusters. <laughs> <laughs> you're giving out of your inspiring word. Who you are inspiring word? Ozzy? I mean, uh, Ghost? Ghost. Oof. Oh, Come uh, on, give it to us. Gains a number of All stamina points. Is the walrus mustache. Gains it twice my level plus my charisma modifier. So my level's two. That's four. Plus yep. my charisma modifier. That's plus four. So that's eight stamina points. That'll be eight out of 14 lost. That'll be huge. That's like Little half. One. What's that? We need you in battle. Yes. You can do it. I can, I can do it. I can do it. You can do it. I can do it. <laughs> that's like half your stamina back. That's Seriously, more than half. Uh, why, where's my Frenchie? Where's my, where's my... And I say, focus on the blue one. Let's take him out. But the green is controlling. He has more damage now. We... Can Actually, I... they're exactly the same. Can I drop prone? Or does that count as prone a Prone is a free action. It's a move. Is, oh. is it free? Dropping prone is free. Oh, it's free? I do oh, that. Nice. So I can be behind the crater. So you, it's minus two to hit you. You have roll cover. That crater isn't actually there. Just pretend like it's not there. That's what we did for the last time. Yeah. Um, when I hid behind the crater. It's not yeah. a crater. It's a mountain. That We're on top. It's still moving. All, all right. right. All set. Argus um, shoulder, shoulders his weapon, fires it, lines it up at Ghost, pulls the trigger. Ghost has plus two to his AC. My natural 15 might be Jesus. a problem. Somebody steal that document. Uh, 15 plus... Let's all retreat back to this. Uh, uh, plus right. nine. 24. That is a hit. So all now right. I have... Uh, Three copies plus me, so it's a one in four chance. So it is eight it's damage. So you gotta make sure you hit. I did hit. He hit. So uh, I'm number one. If I yeah. roll a one, I took the hit. I took the hit. Oh. Eight damage. My but at eight, least you still have those. My eight stamina that you yes. just gave me saved my life. Because otherwise I'd only have six hit points and I'd be toast. Did the. Now you can't do it to him again in this, in this combat. Did you. Um, uh. <clears throat> Do, you, do your other three go away since you've been hit? No. They still remain. Okay. Uh, let's see if any of them miss when I get hit, though. Um, no. Uh, because I got hit, the other three are still there. All right. Trigger, you are up. All right. <clears throat> Trigger's going to continue to target the green guy, who seems to be controlling... Based on what his, he's thinking is that's the guy controlling the shield around these guys that prevented us from landing over there. He's also controlling our ship, and God only knows what else. So 
He's oh, going to keep targeting the green guy. You can take the ship off the grid. <laughs> He's not controlling your ship. We don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, the Robo, Ro- Robo, Robo, Cosell told Robo Cosell told you that he is not controlling your ship. Yeah. Robo Cosell said that your ship is being recalled to Absalon Station. So. Oh. All right, well, I'm going to shoot him anyway because I don't like him. That's fine. Mostly because mostly I know who he is. The, the, um, guy with the, the guy with the green dot or the guy with the red dot on his forehead? I think he knows both. The guy with the red dot. Okay, it's different. Okay, that's Argus. We are yeah. definitely not focused um, on Because the first time you shot the, the, first time you shot the other guy. On my turn. Both of them. Uh, Argus, right? The first time you, you shot the, the guy with the green dot, now you're shooting Argus. All right, moving. Yeah, he... What'd you roll? 17. Uh, 17... Uh, he has an EAC of 16 and is prone, so that is a miss unless you can come up with another plus one. No, um, I just missed. I can't think of anything I'm, else. I'm, I'm extra handsome. Wait, did, did you use? Did you do your like targety thing on him, Mike? You have your 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 exo your your um... exo cortex. Yeah. Targeting. I don't think that I don't think that gives me. Let me just double check that. But I don't think that gives me an extra plus to hit. I think it's a. Uh, he only snores. Even if he gives him a plus one, though. He that's all he needs. Oh, he needs. A He's plus one, one short. I think if you expend a move action, you get the targeting online, right? Is that how? I thought I thought that's what it was. So combat tracking um, allows remote assigned exocortex to track a foe. It doesn't say anything about giving me an extra plus one. Then what would be the point of it? What's it called again? Uh, Exocortex. Combat tracking. Combat tracking. Yeah, I'm too lazy to get my book out. Page 79. Dude. 79, dude. 79. Combat tracking. At third level... As a move action during combat, you designate a foe for your exocortex to track. As long as that target's in sight, it feeds you telemetry, vulnerabilities, and combat tactics, allowing you to make attacks as if your base attack bonus from your mechanic levels was equal to your mechanic level. So your base attack bonus is plus one right now, but you are a level two mechanic. So that turns your plus one BAB into a plus two, which means... You effectively get plus one to hit. You yes. get a plus one to hit. So you hit. Oh, you just, that okay. Was, you, you also you can't take a move action. Okay, I didn't read that right. Well, I didn't write that down right then. All right, this is a hit though. Okay. All right. So we hit him. So you you basically um, have um, what was the ranger stat? What was the ranger thing for doing that in five in four e? Mark. Mark. You mark it. And you mark, get plus one to hit. Yeah. And every time you level up, the the plus may potentially get even bigger. Yeah, we have love to research that a little bit more. So what's your damage, Mikey? Uh, three damage. If you take a ranged attack, if, if I fire my pistol while somebody's in melee range of me, do they get an opportunity to attack on me? Only if they have a melee weapon and they're not flat-footed or something else. Then no, only if... Okay. All right. Are you Argus, what do you trigger uh, what? Oz, you're so up. I can get next to him. You shut him down. I can get close enough to him. Ozzy's going to move up two squares. Those two? Perfect. And he's going to... As, he's, as he brings his arm back... He's going to use... Sound effect. Uh, he's going to use... <laughs> no, his, there's uh, no sounds in space. I already yelled that for that. <sighs> Thank you. Hey, but he can go on the comms as he yeah. does it. He's going to use his quick release sheath. And as a swift action, he's going to bring his tack lash into his hand. And as he brings his hand forward, he says... <laughs> which he did every time before. You just couldn't hear it over the actual <laughs> lashing of the whip. And he's going to attack blue. That's great. I like the quick release. Oh, that, yeah, that should be okay. I think he can hit that. I think he can hit that. 11 uh, sounds promising. Okay, you see a 14. 16. Okay, you see a 14. That is a hit. That's a hit. You know, that was a problem for Star Wars actors. When they were in lightsaber scenes, they kept making the noise with their mouths. Uh-huh. Really? And the director was like, you guys need to stop saying, uh-huh. making that noise. But they're like, look at how cool this is. It's like we're in Star Wars. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You, got, you, got a, you got a damage point for me? Five. Which, solid. by the way, I rolled a one on my D4, and I still hit for five damage. That was solid. Well done. Should have done a different attack. Oh well. All right, uh, Ozzy went. Ghost is up. Now I get my book out. Oh, look at you, baby. Uh, guess a trick attack against blue. 
Uh, blue is the one that is marked by um, our envoy right yeah, now. Yeah, but he's oh, he's completely behind the crater for you. I mean, he's beyond. The, he, if you look at this, he's completely on the other side of this mountain. Then, uh, I'll thing. move over to uh, to the right. You're prone. That do you get up for free? Yeah, I'm a Yosoki. They kip if, up. For if you free. move, you don't get to do your trick attack. Hmm, that's true. But I can crawl too. No, you still don't get to do your trick attack. Yeah, you still get to do your trick attack. Uh, trick attack allows you to move. Oh, does it? It's a full attack, but you ha you can move before or after the trick attack. I thought a full attack meant it took your whole action. The trick attack is a whole action that gives you a oh, move. Part of the move is part of the attack. Yes. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Right. So I'm going to use the trick attack, and sure. I'll use the movement part to slide over two while I'm still prone. And then... Standard action is just a normal action, yeah. right? Yes, yes. Let's see, is his, oh wow, Could've rolled a natural 19 something. on the trick attack, so his CR is 14 or less. Oh yes. So he is now flat-footed. 14 or 4? <laughs> 14, I rolled really well there. Oh. Um, oh, the CR is effective against the pencil on the roll. Well, yeah, the first thing I do is a stealth roll. If my stealth is successful against him, gotcha. uh, then I, I need water. Uh, I rolled minimum damage for both the trick attack and the, the base, one in one, for two points of fire damage. That's twice as much damage as you would have done without the trip attack. You guys are killing it. <laughs> That's true. That you guys true. are killing it. Yeah. All right. Um, I at least he's up. He is still prone. I at least he goes, oh, wow. I tried to daze that other guy with the red dot on his forehead, but that didn't work. So let me try and daze this other guy instead. Maybe that one will work. Mm. No, she would imagine miss the guy with the red dot. What's that? She would imagine miss the guy with the red dot. Let me try to daze harder, that guy. Or... Oh, Guys, check this out. I can do a spell. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is magic. Yeah. So it gets pew, to, pew, uh, pew, pew, pew. it gets to make noise in space because it's magic. And it's uh, <laughs> up to 3d6, right? All and it's, no, it's 3d4. Sorry. And I don't, I think the first one doesn't count. I think the first one becomes a two. No, it's a level three thing. Go ahead. Three... Six, eight. Whoa, that is a great roll. On blue? No, on three, Argus. Two, three. Oh, and are, why, are we why are we not focusing fire, guys? We're attacking I, all I was, I was, Yeah, I was doing what I was oh. suggested to do. She would shoot Argus. I'm surprised you guys aren't focusing on him since he's a leader and clearly more powerful than the other ones. The other ones, theoretically, are easier to take down. If exactly. we taken all of our damage on one of them, yeah. we probably would have taken one down in Argus, too, and half of Argus. You should be listening to the captain. He says, get him. In the blue, we get him. <laughs> Sorry. <All right>. Um. <laughs> I like how you put the fork in there. Like, really? Just grab, just stick your freaking fingers in there, will you? Uh, 15, uh, Adam, versus your K8. Uh, so a, 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 a rifle mm -hmm. shoots a... Projectile, not a. What it's kind not of like an energy? What rifle? kind of rifle? It is a tactical shearing eye rifle. Yeah, that I, I will is a, tell you. That's projectile. Makes no difference. It still hits. That no. is a projectile, though. No, it still misses. <gasps> he missed a shot. Yes, the shot from up here bounces at your feet, blowing dust up in the air. Obscuring my next scene. attack. Just was that scene. Argus that had the sniper rifle? No, no it's, it's this the, person up here oh, that, that you haven't. Didn't you hear the it. crack? Oh, never mind. Wait a minute. He just attacked Ozzy. Yes. The blue guy attacked No, Ozzy. no. This guy. Oh. Look at the map. <laughs> okay. right. Come on, Mikey. Stay with, stay with us. Sorry. <laughs> All right. The blue guy. If the blue guy fires, I get an opportunity to attack against him. If he fires a ranged weapon. Right. So the blue guy will step up and draw forth his standard tacklash. Oh, he doesn't even have to step up if he doesn't want to. Hmm. He's ranged. Oh, he's bringing it. Oh, yeah. He's baby. bringing it. Come around that corner. You see him grin. He steps up. You can see in his mask. He's like, ah, oh, finally somebody I get to swing something at. Is what that would you have as well? A standard attack rush? Yeah. Got it. Uh, 16 versus <clears throat> KAC. Miss. Woo. That armor is wow. working. Finally. Good. Both of those shots would have hit me. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, he has missed the other trooper. And he has no one. I guess he, I guess he can shoot um, trigger. Did he want to move or no? Because he didn't move. No, he doesn't need... I don't, I'm, I'm measuring to make sure he can reach trigger. Um, I'm talking about blue dot. Blue dot has... Oh, I, I had one. I didn't look to you. It's up to you. Actually, he moves here to gain cover. <laughs> it's like I'm starting to learn the rules. 
All right, so this guy to here is 40 feet. Everything should hit that range. Okay. Um, all right, so Trooper 2 will target Ghost. Ghost, a... 4Q. Uh, where is it? A 18, 17 Ghost versus your EAC. That is a hit. You are taking into account uh, I am prone, so a minus 2. Not Ghost. Trigger. Oh, Trigger. Ghost moves. Trigger. Oh, 17 versus uh, trig Trigger's prone, so minus two. You didn't tell me you were prone. You may have meant to go prone, I, but you I didn't say prone. I, really I never stood up from when I was prone before. I don't remember you saying you were prone at all. I don't care. Whatever. What is your KAC? It doesn't matter. It still hits. Uh, my 17 hits, regardless if you're prone yes. or not? Okay. Even with the minus two, Josh, my, my, my a, KAC is 15. It's okay. I rolled I rolled another one for you, buddy. <laughs> two damage. All right. These these are the rolls we're used to get. <laughs> these are the tool short bow rolls. I can hit. I just can't hurt. <laughs> oh, goblins are up. I think uh, I think Trigger would beg to differ about getting hurt. Trigger's up. Trigger's up or the goblins are up? I'm sorry. Goblins are up. Nah, nah. Roll for my goblins. All right. All right. Trigger's rolling for the goblins. Go ahead. Okay. Who are they targeting? Uh, they're targeting the guy with the red dot. Okay. Uh, they rolled a natural 18. One of them did. What's the other one roll? Oh, 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 of course. There's two of them. Hold on. Look, I hit one too. <laughs> uh, the other guy rolled a 14. All right. So the guy rolled the 18 hit. That's 1d4 plus 3 fire. Plarnock hit again. Felraz is getting a little pissed off. 1d4 plus 3? Mm -hmm. No, it's, I thought it was... <coughs> I thought it was 1d3. Six points of damage. I just wrote down what he told me. Let me double check. I have this right here. He does... That one guy does six points of damage, so the guy with the red dot. We just got to see if the number is right. I may have transcribed Okay, it. so it's, it's actually... The junk laser is plus 3 to hit, and it's 1d4 damage. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So what was your 1d4 roll without the plus 3? Three. Okay. Oh wait, did the, did the other guy with his with the other guy had a seventeen? Did he hit? That would hit also. Oh. Wow, we're awesome. We gotta hit with these guys long. I know. Look how much. Look, look at and he shoots between his legs. <laughs> Somehow. Two points. Two, yeah. two points. It bounces off a piece of of, of glass on the surface, reflects up, and. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right, back to the top of the order for round three. Nala. <laughs> right in the cup holder. Does anybody need any help? I was behind you. No, I knew, but you can't help me anymore. Everybody no, I'm good now. <clears throat> I will... S I, uh, I will still mark the... Uh, Blue guy and say, everybody, let's get that guy. Then I'll fire at him. You realize half the team isn't listening to you. Okay. Uh, Nala, do you have he an has, destructive attack? Or are you gonna he has him? cover from Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy's in your way. You might need to um, delay. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. If we draw that line. Where's, oh, I don't have the. Uh, you do, but I got it. You can't go through his square, right? Right. Yeah, it's going through Ozzy's square. And ghost a little bit. I would I would wave ghost, okay. but I wouldn't wave Ozzy. I thought it was corner to corner. No. It's anything. You have line of sight, but he still has partial cover. So you take a minus two on your roll. So yeah, so your your get him washes with it. Well, I'm going to get his plus one. Sorry. I'll stay prone. You can delay, wait for Ozzy to step forward one, and then that'll free you up. You could you could say oh well, not delay anything, but ready in action. I could ready now. I could I could say scooch out of the way, Vesk. I honestly don't remember how that works. I do because I've been listening to a podcast. No, 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 if he if he readies it, I'll, I won't make him drop out of order. If he delays, he drops out of order. Correct. Ready in action doesn't drop you out of the order. Okay. I'll ready in action, waiting for. Uh, and that action is my Aussie to shift over, or move over. Opening up my line of sight, and I will fire. Okay. On Zigar. All right. Argus still has a bead on um, trigger. 
His natural three is going to miss. <laughs> you guys lucked out on that one. What's he yeah. using? Is he also using a, a sniper rifle? He's using like an auto rifle. He is using an assault rifle. Mm. An AG assault rifle. Nice. He's a CR4 if you were curious. Mm. Um, go ahead, trigger. You know, days didn't work. Uh, I trigger the target the uh, red dot. Um, he would take a minus two on the blue guy. Red dot has a, has a, is, is prone, so he's getting a, a minus two. 23. That is a hit, regardless Ooh. of his prone or not prone. It does or doesn't? It hits. Oh, yeah, you got him. Oh, okay. Please roll some good damage. You're still rolling a d4. Four points of damage. We'll take it. Chipping away, chipping away. All right. Yeah, we, we, we need to buy some serious weapon upgrades. There aren't any at your level. That's the thing. I, I can. Use, I'm uh, proficient in sniper rifles, so if you can get me when, when, I, get rifle, to, when I get to level three, I can I can use some better weapons. Yeah, all of you can. Ozzy, you're, you're up. Nine o'clock already. Almost. You're up, Ozzy. Just saw somebody pull in. Oh, Ozzy. Um, Jules is right. He's going to move two to his right. Nice. So he never actually leaves the square. Leaves the uh, threatened area of the blue dot. Very. Nice. You can't go another one. You can go that one though. I'll take it. Hmm. Still works. Essentially, I feel like throwing rocks at this guy. Do I go or does? Ozzy, well, oh, uh, the, the moment now you that go, now that you have a trigger. clear shot, yeah. I think is when you you go. transfer it and then he goes. Then he, then he finishes his turn. Yeah. The trigger it's natural go. seventeen. Ooh. That's gonna hit. It's nice. Gonna loud, isn't it? Three damage. You don't get a bonus for anything. Hey, Hi. nice Hi. letter jacket. Um, that does not take him out. Unfortunately, there's no they symbol for the robotics team for the letter jacket. <laughs> Because my dad used to coach hockey with Shelton. Oh. You're up. Uh, you see, he's, he's, he's on his last leg. Okay, I'm not going to get any minuses to hit. No. So I'm just going to... You get a plus one to hit. You get a plus one to hit. Well, I was going to do fight defensively, but mm. I'm not going to do that. Now. So he's can just going to... Can I join after the fight is over? Join now the fight. Join in the fight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, well, I have to wear my stuff and So far, all we've been doing I was is playing with pushing here. Alicia <laughs> up into the front of everybody. <laughs> Hey, that's not my job anymore. That was last campaign. Where's my stuff? It's under my. He's got it. Here. Under just a second. Let me just finish this turn. It's fine. I'll just get. Catch my stuff. Don't worry. He can kill you yet. Adam was working on it. Come on, you just give it to yourself. Ghost has a uh, seventeen. Sorry. Seventeen is a hit. Nice. Do I even need to roll the damage? I'll do it just because. Please. It's two dice, and they don't need to roll. Don't. Five. Because he had two. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I literally could not have not killed him. <laughs> he drops to the ground. Dead. Excellent work. Good job. Uh, now he yells, way to focus fire. <laughs> <laughs> now get that guy who's out there half dead. I wish there was a better... I wish there was There's a, a skull. There's a skull. I yeah, but it's still small. I wanted to make something bigger. Take it all back. It There's a wind. Well, the... Put the multiple ones, Josh. There you go. Uh, I, I, I thought there was a, a, cro- a way to cross them out, but he's down. He's Grab dead. His, uh, rifle? Is his rifle better than yours or not? I also, I'm not trained with sniper rifles. Ozzy went ghost. You're up. Uh, is there somebody between yeah. Ghost and... Oh, I see. That's I after Ghost. Out gotcha. He's going to trick attack. Mm-hmm. He's going to move two to the left while still prone. Back to the left. Pick up his body. He's going to do he the same thing as before, <laughs> except uh, now he's targeting Argus. Uh, oops, i got to click on him. Oh, that's weird. They don't have shields in this game. Like, is there something like that has now prevented him shield. from clicking on Ghost? Oh, you have a bug with him again? I can't seem to roll the trick attack without selecting him. And it won't let me select him. I don't know. Are you on the right layer or something? Oh, I think that's it. I think you're right. It was a layer thing. Yep. Why did you change layers? Uh, as the enemy CR 12 or less for Argus? Uh, no. Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. Okay, trick attack is successful. Shooting with his uh, azimuth. Uh, 21 against EAC. This is a hit. Natural 16. Uh, 2 plus 3 trick attack damage. 5... Fire damage. Fire, fire damage. Yeah, my guy, my guys came out of out of the shoot, going for bear, but now they're uh, petering out a little bit. It's Elise's turn. 
<laughs> All right, I will give you the quick lowdown. Yeah, thanks. All right, this is you right here. Oh, cool. Okay, this is a mountain with a crater in the top. Oh. This is a dead bad guy. Because he has a red dot. Yes, this provides cover, so you cannot shoot through it. Okay. This is the leader of the bad guys. We want to kill him. He is we... prone, so he has plus two to his AC. Okay, we're this not is killing a... him. This is another guy. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> and this is a sniper that is hiding up on the... Oh, no, at least we are definitely killing the guy with the red dot. They are familiar with the guy with the red dot. He's He is a bad Jesus. He is epically bad. Is we are definitely killing him. Group yes. yes. You have already hit him once with the, with the series of magic missiles. Yeah, of course I did. And he's been picking off Ghost. Ghost only he has six really well, hit points left. That's fine. I will, that, then I can kill him. Um, oh, we also know that he is a, at least a CR4 and cannot be dazed. Oh, that's Learn it the hard way. Very experienced. Yeah, and you couldn't try to daze him again anyway because you already did it this round. But this yeah. this combat. You and can you... move two or else you, you're in zero G. I'm giving you the option to move two even though I should not allow you to move at all without drifting off the asteroid. I'm trying to make combat not drag too much. So you can move two um, at most. You know, it actually uh, might speed combat because we push off in their direction and we would just keep moving. We can going to push off from off the uh, side of the crater that's up, there's yeah. all sorts of things. You can launch yourself out their ship. That can stop you. Mm-hmm. How far away is a sniper? Uh, more than 30. The sniper is pretty far. I would. Uh, the sniper is undamaged. No, not for days, just for anything. The sniper is 55 feet. 55 feet. feet. Uh, yeah. fo- focus on the close guy. Okay. Or one of the close guys. The sniper is annoying, though. Um, <laughs> well, hopefully, maybe if we kill them. Oh, I, just so you know, they stole your ship with your little talking voice. Oh, the hippocampus. The hi- no, no, no. The hippocampus flew away. Don't care. Don't worry. Robo Cosell is still here. Yes. Providing play by play, as are your goblin friends. Oh, Robo yeah. Who have they both hit so far. Activated a remote control once we got off the ship, and it's going back to the space station. So whoever hired us decided to recall the ship as soon as we stepped off. Oh, I forgot. And on his turn, as he says, tactical retreat back to the ship. Then he looks Never mind. <laughs> there is no sheep. Was mommy sleeping? <coughs> She's going to brush. She's done. Okay. Um, so, okay. <clears throat> I want to energy ray the, 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 the leader dude. All right. You have to move out from where you are. You can just move okay, to here. Fine. You can just move the one square back this way. What's the, what's the range in energy ray? Uh, 25 feet plus 5 feet per two levels, so 30 feet. I don't know which yeah, is that. Yeah, it's 35. Well, then... He's 35. Well, she can move too. She can move down and up. So, like, next to uh, the Yosoki there? Yeah, she can move there and have range. Go ahead. Next to one of the little ones. Good. Um, Is it automatically hit or do you have to roll damage? Roll attack. Um, oh, is this your 1d3 thing? Yeah, it is 1d3. Um, Get your d3 out. I'm working on it. <laughs> Jeez. I don't have a d3. <laughs> you roll a d4 I- and ignore force. Oh, I wasn't gonna roll oh, you D6 six and go. You can do that too. D6 divided by two. Um. So I have to pick the, the damage the, type. The damage type, yeah. Or you could use your azimuth laser pistol, which will actually deal more damage. Oh, uh, that's true. I guess. I if you hit. That's I'll use the azimuth pistol. By the way, Adam Adam has told me I can't make sound effects because we're in space and there's no sound. So how did Ozzy tell us to go back to the ship? Well, you can communicate, but there's yeah, no we have comms. Right. There's no pew pew. But you could say pew 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 when you fire. Well, every time Ozzy cracks his whip, he says. Whoosh. Okay, I will be doing that. Um. <laughs> and by the way, for the record, if you weren't here, every time Ozzy cracks his whip, he says. Whoosh. You just can't hear it over the sound of the actual whip crack. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go with my azimuth. But we stuff. found, as we've traveled on the ship for a couple of days, that Ozzy uses that uh, in unexpected areas. Like when he reaches to get a grape from the dinner table, he <laughs> just goes, and then he puts it in his. What do you? Uh, totally. I rolled a nat eleven. I don't remember the. Uh, what I'm supposed to do to that. You're supposed to add your. You have it down there in the lower right somewhere. Azimuth laser pistol. Plus a plus one. Why does it not say? She may not have a plus four. She has at least a plus two. I think it is plus two. I think it's plus two as well. So what'd you roll? Twelve. Thirteen. That is a miss. Is it marked? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, the blue one was. Damn it. Yeah. There's no get him on him. All right. Not yet. I at least he misses. The, uh, for stepping out, I at least he gets the joy of being shot out by the sniper. Oh, fine. A 
11 plus nine, eight is 19. 19 to your AC is going to be hit, Jules. Total AC? KAC. Oh, KAC. KAC, yeah. My KAC is only... The sh tactical shear and eye raffle. Pew! Hits two. you for uh, two plus two, four. Four points of stamina damage. Hey, wait a minute. <coughs> Adam, did I lose any stamina? No, you no. took no damage so far. Oh, nice. We've been shielding you. Yeah. Trooper 1 is down. Trooper 2 runs on the ship and powers up the ship. Mm -hmm. Which? Oh, their ship. Yeah. Their ship. About that. Prepping it for takeoff. Uh, we'll about that. Uh, goblins. Uh, one of the goblins <coughs> tries to do a 360 with his arms extended, his eyes closed, and just tries to time his fire to hit the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, what's his name there? Okay, if you roll a one, two, three, or four, you hit if somebody. You 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 have to roll an AC check against me in your party. Or he rolls a. Does sixteen. Want a pretzel? No, mm -hmm. thanks. Yeah, I'll take one. Six, sixteen really plus three is a nineteen. Mm -hmm. Versus the KAC of this roll. guy. I feel like I should get a bonus. That is a hit for taking that risk. Yeah, that is a hit. Yeah. Your one d four damage. Yeah, probably your double damage. Coolness factor. <laughs> Would you roll what? <laughs> Mikey, do you want to roll goblin number two? Uh, sure. Or do you want to let Jules roll since she just got there? Oh, all right. Okay, oh, I rolled a natural 20. 20. Oh. Okay. No, Mike hits. Next Mike time. can roll. Next time. <laughs> 2d4, Mikey. 2d4. 2d4. 2D, Mike, you need to roll a d4 and then add it with another d4 for the crit. <laughs> Six. Two threes. How did Mike not roll eight? Are your dice okay, Mike? You didn't roll max. Max. That was the idea. Yeah. But we did roll a we did roll a d20. So. That's true. And we go. All right, top of the order. Nala is up. Oh, you you hear food, huh? Nala is he French? Those guys. Oh, he he executed that maneuver while leapfrogging over his little goblin friend. And nice. In podcast listeners, the goblins have never rolled more than like a six. They have never hit anything. Meanwhile, our goblins are just like trying to miss and hitting. Yeah. Our, our goblins are like hitting better than we are. Yeah. Are you focus on the leader? Ozzy, use the meat shield. I don't know what that means. Use that. Oh, yeah, I don't think they're going to do that. All right. I understand what you're saying now. Can I? Sh can I? Do I have a shot at uh, Red Dot? No. You do if you crawl two past. But he used get him, so he lost. Oh, he used his move action. Mm. Um. Well, you have. I guess you have minus two. It's cover. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's only cover. That's true. Fourteen. Plus it's cover, right? Fifteen. Sixteen. Minus two. Fourteen. Is a miss. It's close though. Oh, that's helpful. Think? Do you think you can grab that sniper rifle and shoot it through zero G floating towards me? <coughs> the sniper rifle's the guy on the hill. Yeah. Oh, I thought the guy with the tack lash who went down also had a sniper rifle, no? No, uh, he had He definitely a... used a sniper rifle to get right in our faces with, yes. He had a tactical semi-auto pistol. Oh, all right. We could use that, though. We don't have one of those, do we? I have one. 1d6. Yeah. No critical damage, but 1d6. I told him to use that guy's meat shield if he does not want to do it. All right. I got a plan, man. The ship begins to take off. That would have been fine. Argus rolls over, pushes the button on his wrist. A cable shoots out, attaches itself inside the ship, and draws him, him in, in, in as the ship pulls off. Why does he just use his jetpack, Bubba Fett? Because it was just as cool. <laughs> Sorry, Django Fett. This was oh, no, Bubba has that too. Do we yeah. get a parting shot maybe to attack the cable and sever it from the ship as he's getting dragged away? I Probably would not. No. You could try to damage him if you wanted Take a chance of killing him on the way out. Um, if, what if I rolled a natural 20? Could I sever the, the clip then? If I can hit him, clearly I can hit the cable. Hey, it's zero space. What if we threw a grenade? What would happen? Do 1d6 damage. No, it would just keep going. <laughs> Actually, it would, have to explode. it would have to explode at some point. Where it would, would it explode? It would throw it, but then it could also damage us. No matter how far you throw it. Because it's, it's, it's if you're throwing it up into the air... <laughs> It's gonna come down somewhere. And then all that shrapnel is gonna go, and it, you know, in a interesting point. sphere. Mm -hmm. So Argus, Argus, and the ship escape to fight another day. Leaving the sniper. Leaving the sniper. All right. I 
and remove our. And that's the kind of person Argus is, guys. Just FYI. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we should try to befriend this sniper. It's... Yes, I am going to have him make friends with my gun. She, she, you, you, she, she stands up, watches the ship go by, and you, you can hear her, you know, broadcasting. Are you fucking kidding me? You're leaving me here. <laughs> Uh, and then she, she looks down at you, and, and she puts, and, she puts uh, her hands up like I'm, I I I want to talk. I <laughs> and enemy sniper See, be advised. Enemy Throw. sniper be advised. You are broadcasting on an open channel. Let's <laughs> See benefits to not killing people. Throw now she wants to help us. Throw their rifle to us yeah. right now, sniper. Toss your rifle down the cliff. The cliff is only about twelve feet high, so she drops. She drops. She drops. There's you, no you, gravity. She has no gravity. Yeah, she just shoots it towards us, and it'll eventually reach us because it'll. She throw, She pushes it down toward the ground near, her. so it lands over here somewhere. I said throw it to us. How hard is it to do what I ask for? Keep her covered. I'll I, go get it. I, I can't understand what you're saying. You sound so funny. What do you mean? You sound funny. <laughs> I do not sound funny. You sound funny. Uh, she she climbs down and, and approaches with the hands up. Um, you can tell it's a, a female android. Oh. Oh, we don't what is a? We haven't seen an android yet. What does an android look like in this universe? A so, humanoid. So they don't. She doesn't have a, a spacesuit on, right? Can, Correct. Can they get concussed? No, no, <laughs> no. I think no. they can because they're partially biological and partially mechanical. So, like they have souls, right? So I'm gonna change the layer and make make her larger so you can see what she. Uh, no, I actually have a, I have a picture of her. She looks like a, something like a cyberpunk. Yeah, I, no, I have a better picture over here somewhere. Oh yeah, she's got like a mohawk. Have her in here. Where is Clara? Hey, 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 guys, hey, guys, 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 we have another problem. What? Only one problem. What is the problem, Trigger? Only one problem. I got to make a We don't have a way off this thing. That is a problem. Uh, Trigger, did I, did I tell you, Trigger mm. is very smart. Yes. I'm aware, but no matter how smart he is, it's not going to bring the spaceship back. Mm. Well, we have the, 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 um, What's the name of the ship? The one we, we investigated? The Acreon. The Acreon. The Acreon is still tethered to the rock. We could climb up the tether just like the original crew <coughs> climbed down. Yes, but it is drained of power. Remember, in engineering, it has enough to maintain life support, and there is food, but it is not able to, to move on its own. There's what Clara, it also, that's what Clara looks like. It, it also, was still focused on that. It also has a communication system, so we could call for help. Hmm. So we're not without options. We won't die out. These you know what, Mr. Roboto's watching, and he's not doing anything to help us, and I think that's really just not cool. You guys have actually begun to filter him out a little bit in your minds. What a stellar, exciting combat! Whoever would have thought the enemy can would we, retreat? Can, can we filter him out at the table, too? No. <laughs> no, not at all. You signed my review, right? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> do, do you now see why I do not like the robot floating head? No good. No good, right? He was not very useful in this combat, I agree. There is no compassion. There is no empathy. It's a robot. What do you expect? It has no gun to shoot at the bad guys. Well, at least you have a gun. I don't know about compassion. Do you, empathy, do you, but you, do you know that this right now is the most widely <coughs> widely viewed um, programming on the, on the infosphere? Everybody and their mother are watching these. This, this, this. Ghost you guys are ghost. famous. Ghost. He ignores what robot. about people that don't have mothers? Ghost. Ghost. Yes, Trigger. When we get back. We get back to the to the to the, to the ship. Kind of royalties for this? Yes. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, I'm gonna disable him. We should look inside the cave. I think that would be inside. very good, Trigger. Oh, I want to go in the cave. That's a good idea. Yes, we should go in the cave. Uh, first, <clears throat> Captain, he reaches into his pack and he produces handcuffs or restraints. Ah. Oh, I have those two. I think that we should interrogate the prisoner and put these on her, so she cannot kill us. No, so. no disintegration. <laughs> yeah, we we take all we take all the physical weapons off them. They're an android. Yeah, she so she, she freely away. surrenders everything. She introduces herself as and you have a sniper rifle. as Claire. Claire, like two, twice the size of you. Yeah, D ten. Uh, Claire two. I'm Claire two four seven. Claire two four seven. I'm a mercenary android. Where are the first two hundred and forty six Claras? Uh, uh, actually, it's because I, I go all day, all night, all day, all week. Oh. 24-7. Oh. 
24 hours, That's, seven days a week. I, I, we have account? hours and weeks. Oh, Is Absalon oh. Station Is on a 24 hour period though? I thought this station in hours were 27 in a day. No? What, uh, how, what's an hour specifically here as opposed to, you know, somewhere what's in the Viscarium? I, I want to assume you guys enter the cave to, re, to get some. Uh, it's so messed up once you get off a planet. Agreed. <laughs> once I'm, you get off a planet. I'm, we were I'm, never off a planet. We were I'm assuming station. you guys go in the cave to get a little cover from being out there. Um, yes, we should go in the cave in case there's. No, I'm just I'm just moving us to the next map while you guys talk. <clears throat> we also were assuming that we have done a full search of her and there's nothing else on her. If you want us to roll, we, yeah. we can roll. But we're searching. No, for you're fine. Around. That's fine. We should also go in the cave in case they circle around. And you got to be brave in the cave. You got to be brave in the cave, though. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, I'd like no to. Brave. I'd like to take a ten minute rest, seeing as I have no stamina and six hit points left. As it usually, I would say no. I would say no, but usually you guys are waiting for me. <laughs> That's true. You rest, little one. We so will cover you. Can you remind me, uh, Adam, Does when I use me? 10 minutes and spend a resolve point, what does that do? I believe it refills your stamina entirely. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. It recharges spells. Yes. refills your stamina, Okay. but not your hit points. So I'm still down eight <clears throat> hit points. Should I waste a serum, or should I sit on it? What does it take to use a serum in combat? What? Standard round, I think. Yes. Use it now. Use it? Okay. I think I have three serums. That'll take Since we don't have Lenya with us. Um... Serum is 1d8 healing. I wait for you guys to tell me this stuff. I, I, uh, hold on. Because Adam never gets hurt. Hmm. I Mark serums. 1 healing serums. Right? Is that what we all... Everybody's got Mark 1s? I'm pretty sure, Mike. Yep. All right, hold on. All right. So so Clara offers up... Um, hi. I, I, I am Clara247. I was hired... First, to pilot the vessel that attached you en route to the Acreon. And then I was, when I crashed that, I was recruited by those gentlemen to uh, act as a sniper in this encounter. I have now failed twice in my mission to hurt you. I give up. <laughs> I will aid you if you will help me get off of this rock. Uh, sense motive to no. see if she is telling the truth. I, I'm disinclined to allow somebody who's tried to kill us twice to join our group right now. Oh, like you wouldn't have, you know, if somebody you, you had believe told her, she's, you. She's telling you the truth. I rolled a 21. You yeah. believe she's telling if you the truth. Somebody hmm. told you, we need you to go kill these random people that you don't know, and then they give you money. Are you telling me that you would say no? I would depend. I would. Mm. It depends on the situation. They're but, random people. What's the but situation? To, to change I, saw sides. Chance, I, saw, I saw a chance to double dip. To, cha to change sides because the, the situation is turned away from your, your advantage is not an honorable act. I do believe she is telling the truth. I kind of don't care. She is an enemy. She has surrendered, so we'll not harm her, but we will treat her as an enemy. Yes, but she has the big gun, and she knows how to use it, and uh, that can be uh, helpful. Uh, now he has you, the big you gun. Mean, yeah, I don't trust him with the big gun. This is a nice big gun. He has uh, never tried to shoot me where we, she has. We have two of the big gun now? Well... I've got a sniper. I'm, I've got the. I've, I'm, uh, I have a I'm pointing damage. at the goblins who were. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> did like battle. half the damage. See, I told you we should have been nice to them. So Clara has, for the record, uh, for the record, Clara has a survival knife, the tactical Sheeran eye rifle, and an azimuth laser pistol. Because everybody has an azimuth. So we laser now have pistol. an azimuth, an extra azimuth laser pistol. Uh, Everybody now is three. Well, we, we, all, we all have like three Azimuth laser pistols. I'm just saying that we're not leaving the weapons with her. No, no, no. Do you have any more restraints? Perhaps we should tie her ankles and then tie her hands to her back. To you are being ridiculous. You are being ridiculous. You still have a I have restraints, you still have but a... I'd rather use them on you. You have a contract on us. That contract has been voided. I've done my best to fulfill it. You, could, you still have the ability to fulfill that contract. I will not allow you to do this. Pay me more. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I'll could. i pay you by not throwing you off this rock. You are working for the Academy then? I have no idea who they were. They gave me the opportunity to earn some credits and to get me off of here. How did you find them? How are you hired? They pulled me out of the wreckage of the ship that I was flying when I attacked the hippocampus. So who hired you in the first place? You were... That I don't know, but the Necroglado was provided to me, so I assume it was the corpse fleet. 
Just a minute, you are flying the evil dead sheep as that I attacked said, our, our sheep. Yes. As I said, this is the second time she's tried to kill us. Huh. Are you about to let her just follow us with weapons now? Well, you have to admit, she is not very good at killing us. No, but she's a lot closer now than she was before. Mm, that is true. But if she can kill someone else, that would be good. See? She kills for money. Problem. She has no honor. Do you have contact information for the people who have hired you? No, they, they, they paid me up front, provided me the, the ship. They did not give you half? You got the whole thing? All yes. of the jobs I've been on, they only play half, and I collect the rest when I finish the job. I'm not hearing this. <laughs> <laughs> How did are, you are, negotiate that? That's that even that incredible. For, uh, that, that, that was the offer that was presented What is your me? charisma? True. It must be very <laughs> high. Have, you must have a very good diplomacy. Look, look at this. <laughs> Bob, did you roll your hit points for your Mark One serve? It no. is a one d eight. It's a one d eight. I'll roll that right now. It's a one d eight. Here's your bangs. Oh, thanks. Oh, I rolled maximum an eight, which puts my hit points back to full and my stamina is back to full. I'm fourteen, fourteen once again. Nice. Are you guys not stepping? Thanks, Mikey. Yep. All of a sudden, you see the three other ghosts disappear. But as they disappear, one of them. Looks like it's really concerned, and it's like begging not to go. The other one is tapping on a like a wristwatch module, and the other one <laughs> is cleaning its gun. And then that's when they disappear. Are you saying that they may have gained, one of them may have gained sentience? Possibly, yes. <laughs> I mean, his AI has been uh, tweaked by Trigger. And Let Trigger... me ask you this: Does it feel pain? <laughs> so let me guess. Since, since since you're going into the drift rock at this point, you're going to put the goblins in charge of security on this person? No. No, I say we hog tire. We leave her at the, at the mouth of the cave. No. Oh, I, I like the goblin icon. Those are great. Now that I can see them up close, that's mm. really good. We can easily carry. That her looks with like us. Stitch. Why don't why, why don't we just take her with us? She's already restrained. We should bind her ankles her, we as well. Can we leash. just go already? I I will come along peacefully. I I offered you my services. It is you, up to you if you choose to, to if you elect to use. You the offer line. your services to the highest bidder. I do. And right I don't now, want to right put myself right in a position now, your, to be your, your bid of getting me off this rock is the best one I got. Until somebody better comes along, shackle her ankles as well. We'll drag her along. T tire, we tie her up, and we drag her along. I've got rope. I've got. Uh, you guys want to be encumbered by that? That's fine. It's not. It, it, we're pulling. That's right. Zero G. <laughs> Yeah, it's up to her whether or not she wants to bounce off the walls. Or yep. maybe Ozzy. Alright. No. So. Uh, you can drive her. Well why, why don't we just why don't we take her walk and her. we can tie her ankles so that she has enough room just yeah, to kind of shuffle room. along. But there's mess. Oh we uh, we mess. put the um, trigger is smart. Let us do it trigger says. Yes, we will we will make her our meat. Oh, put her shield up, up put, front. Put her up front. I like this idea. Yep. That, That's actually pretty. Funny. Actually, so I'm, I'm, you're willing to drag her along. You're not willing to let her help you, but you're you're basically willing to sacrifice her. Because that's what you're doing. You're, you're just condemning her to death by putting her in front of you. Yes, I no, am. No, totally only something attacks us. She <laughs> has attacked us twice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is what we're doing. We're totally fine with this. I but, find it interesting that you seem to be like... Uh, uh, you're, you, 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 yeah, never mind. No um, one here said lawful good. Ozzy <laughs> feels uh, lawful to me, but I'm not sure. It's kind of lawful-ish. I mean, she's she has participated as an ending combatant in two different battles against us. Mm -hmm. Maybe he wouldn't put her up front, but he certainly would would not let her have a weapon and join us. That's curious because I think Ghost would be cool with giving her a weapon at this point, because he's a mercenary as well, sort of. You understand the code. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, then, yeah. and, and you know, and you know that her code would allow it. Would give, don't give her, give her the pistol back then. I, no, I would be game, but be, I don't think uh, Ozzy's going to put a bullet in her in the back of her head. Mm -hmm. But if we need her and we're in a pitch, maybe then we'll change our minds. Hey, I've got a great, I've got, an, I've got a great idea. Mm. I've got a great idea. What is that, Trigger? Who's gonna walk behind her? Ozzy. No, I can't. I need to be in the front of the party. I would. She, and she's in front of the front of the party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I can walk behind her. It's just fine for me. <laughs> okay, can so I'm going to take a dash. I'm going to take a grenade, and I'm going to tape it to her back. 
<clears throat> and I'm going to tie a rope to the pin and hand it to Ghost. And we're going to give her a pistol back. I thought you were going to pull and the pin. And her and Monty can walk up front. Mike, are you, sure, and, are you sure you're not going to pull the pin and make sure you have to have a hand on the grenade at all times? But wait, like a dead man switch? Doesn't uh, Ialisi have telekinetic hand capability? Um, can, can yeah, but not for a lot. I don't think that Ialisi would, would agree to this. Because she can pull the trigger oh, with her goes. mind. It, so it's... You do too. It's one a, unattended object yep. of no more than 10 pounds. That is the pin on a grenade. I think it's... That is the pin on a grenade. Yeah. So if, if you're not comfortable, I'm sure perhaps Nala would do this. Or we could just not let her have a gun and kind of keep her in the back of the party. Middle of the party. Um, whatever. Whatever the captain hey, says. Hey, what, what, level, what level is her sniper rifle? Josh, can I use that? <laughs> Josh is in the bathroom. It's, I forgot, oh. we got a name of it. <laughs> have you guys beat this something to death yet or are you still going? I thought you liked it when we had these moral conundrums. Are you, uh, this is not a moral conundrum. Trigger, moral conundrum ball, Ghost is proficient with sniper rifles. Are you proficient with sniper rifles, too? Um, I, I can use a sniper rifle, yes. Well, we can all use sniper rifles. <laughs> so, are you are you proficient, though? Can you use it without the penalty? You know, it's funny. I, I, would, I would consider it impossible to, for the Yusoki to use a rifle. It's like and a half longer than he is. I know. <laughs> but then all the pictures of the Yusoki are them standing next to guns that are bigger than they are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't have a proficiency in it, Bob, so if you do, then... <clears throat> I do. But if if Trigger at, wants at, it, Ghost will give it to you three, gladly. Level three, I can change that, but for now I do not have a proficiency in that particular way. But Trigger, if you want these weapons, it is yours. You say the word, it is yours. No, no, no. You, if you can use it, goes, goes. Yeah, I'd rather have you use it. How much does it do more damage than? By a lot. Yes, it does. Two and a half times more damage, and the range oh, goes, is is. You like <laughs> things. You, 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 you like shooting <laughs> more than more than me. You, you should shoot it. Okay, Trigger. You change your mind. You take the gun. All right. So, what do you guys do with Clara? We uh we put a we take the grenade to her back and Nala is using her magical hand thing and if she does anything she's just gonna pull the pin. Okay, but Nala can't hold that indefinitely. No, no, no. no, no. I'll only pull the I'll only pull the pin. She'll pull out the pin. She's not taking it out and then leaving it pressed. She's gonna yank the pin and cause it to explode at, when, at whenever she wants. Or we could just have her bound hand and foot and drag her along. Whatever you guys want. <laughs> no, I think we'll go with the first. It's cool with me. All right. Uh, you've, so you've entered the drift rock. She has proven to be extremely dangerous. There is no gravity. Uh, it is dark. I know some of you have dark vision, but not everybody. So you will have to provide some light for those who don't have dark vision. What would you know who, if you have dark vision? Who does not have dark vision? The Yasoki, Trigger, and Ghost, they can see in the dark. Pretty sure I have dark vision. Yep. Do we have dark vision? Yeah. Oh. Well, Shinta have dark vision. Nice. Uh, oh, that's all of us. It just leaves the android. No, the android can see. And what about the goblins? She has dark vision 60 feet. Oh, and goblins probably have dark vision. Of course they do. Wait, all of you do? I thought one of you didn't. Adam, you do? I want to double check. Our vision just says normal. Then you don't have dark vision. Oh, come on. You got me all excited. Lie, Jeffrey. Lie. Yep, yeah, and that's why I purposely... Uh, okay, so Lashunta don't have dark vision. I didn't think they did. Do you, Adam? Or I have low light vision. Yeah, you're good then. So there's no light. No, this is dark. There is no light. Um, we have dark vision. The Yosoki can see in no light. Dark vision for sure. So you definitely need to provide a light source at this point. Um, I assume it's still zero G inside the cave, and yes. further no atmosphere. Correct. <laughs> what was that zero G and no atmosphere? No atmosphere and completely black. I think we um, need I, can, have, I have a, a dancing lights cantrip. Oh, that'll work. Okay. Okay. Uh, Want to read it out loud? Uh, you create up to four lights that represent small headlights or flashlights. Um, the lights must stay within a 10-foot radius area in relation to each other, but otherwise can move however you want. You can attach them to the top of my helmet. Do you want to, is this going to be a marching order then with ILEC no, closer to the front? No, go away. This isn't for you. Come here, come here. Uh, I at least he's more of a ranged, right? 
I at least use whatever I at least use. <laughs> yeah, but the, the problem with Dancing Lights is it has a duration of one minute. Yeah, but she can keep... She can recast. I can keep doing it. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's so, good. It's 100 feet plus 10 feet per level. So you can... And it's a 10-foot radius. All right. Uh, who has... Who has a fire extinguisher? I, I, I have a flashlight. I do. You, Ozzy, I do. Does anyone else have fire extinguisher? I thought I bought one of those because I was like, going to need I, one. But I guess not. Did not bring my fire extinguisher on this excursion. I have a flashlight. Okay. I right. did bring my flashlight though. That's good. Uh, who else has? I room? do have my disguise toolkit. Who are you? Who? Where did you come from? I haven't used it. Oh, you have not used it. Oh, sorry. Does anybody else have rope? I have a restraint. Yes, I have a I have binding rope. restraint. Okay. I have zero. Not rope. You got rope. Trigger's got rope. I've got rope. No, we didn't lash ourselves together. No, oh, let's start. <laughs> no, but I was going to suggest that we each have at least twenty feet, so that if we're off we kilter, lash it. <laughs> off kilter or whatever, we can just throw the rope to somebody else and they can pull us in. Because I can see a danger if we're in a big area of the cave that we're just floating with nothing to push off of, we'll be stuck there. Mm. So I'd say let's cut the rope so everybody's got twenty feet at least. Anyone disagree? Do you have rope or do you have cable? Because I don't remember to bring my bolt cutters. I have cable, but the survival knife will take care of that. Your azimuth laser pistol will shoot through the rope. Mm. It's a good shot. All right, so everybody now has at least 20 feet, and those of us who have the original rope have longer. Okay. All right, so the cave, the, you want to zoom out a little bit, Bob, because the picture's a little big. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I understand you, you like the detail of everybody, but... <laughs> all right, so the camera branches off to the... It looks to the We're south and to the north. We're zooming out. We can't see anything. Bruce to the north and to the south. We saw that before. We didn't need you to zoom out for that. I like looking at the goblins. Look like Stitch. Left. Who Who like Stitch? Oh my god. Left. Can we check and see are there tracks? I forgot about that one. Um, we're to see if other people were here. Does that require perception, survival? Uh, it's a solid ground. You you can do a. It would probably be a survival check. Anybody else? Ask survival? Claire. Has she been inside the uh, cave? I have not been inside. That's what I think. Ooh, I'm actually trained in survival. Of course you are. I am not trained in survival. You know the rules. You, um, did you find it? Adam sucks at rolling? That too. <laughs> what are we doing? We're talking about survival. survival. Okay, thank you. Um, natural 19. Four. So, what are we 26. Survival. So, um, I can't check. Okay. So, ghost survival, survival check yields, <laughs> um, Clearly, the footprints probably of the Creon crew coming through. How many? At least four. They march single file to hide the high high their numbers. numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, no other passages that all we see of the footprints are for? It is a 26 roll. <laughs> yes, all you see is, a, is, a, is those footprints. Okay. And is it made of asteroid material, this uh, passageway? Yes. Like rock? Yes. Natural. Uh, the drift rock is, is a rocky asteroid only a few thousand feet in diameter with unremarkable irregular surface. And if I turn the page here, following your standard features of the drift rock, there is no atmosphere inside the asteroid, and the tunnels and rooms are completely dark unless otherwise indicated. There's also no gravity. Um, How tall are the ceilings? I hope they're just seven feet. Unless otherwise noted, corridor and ceiling tunnel oh, ceilings are 15 feet high, way? while caverns and rooms have 30 foot high ceilings. So you can bang your head. Ghost is going to um, change his uh, orientation because Yosoki are really good in zero G and while everyone else is walking on the floor he's going to walk on the ceiling oh. he's going to walk on the ceiling there you go. <gasps> you sing it? I'm just calling you Lionel Richie now the dance on the ceiling oh what a feeling <laughs> <laughs> and I am killing on the ceiling <laughs> ghost there's nothing to kill oh you say that now but that is because we have killed him all we However, haven't killed um, anybody if you're thinking like left. Andrew Wigan you're just flipping over and now. You're walking on the floor while we're walking on the ceiling. That is right, because the enemy <laughs> gate is down. Mm-hmm. All right, Guys, are you going why is he, up or down? If, if his name is Ghost, why does he look like a bat? We're going to the left, towards you. <laughs> going north. Ooh, Benny for that. Wow. Yeah, jeez. Thank you, Lionel Richie. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> that was you, yeah. That was All you right. and Adam. You both had that. So you, you head to the north. Um... Are there were there uh, footprints from both areas, both sections? Uh, is there anything? In... Where is? 
Why did my page counts not add up right? Twenty nine. Is there supposed to go in order, not in? Uh, it does not appear to be any. There's footprints all over. Okay. We go over to that first. Room. All right. So you head to the top. A dead humanoid body floats in the cavern. Is there any indications oh. that the from the Acreon? Other than the giant patch on the uniform that says Acreon? Yes. Yeah. Besides, I mean, besides that. that. <laughs> Hang on. Let me roll my. Let me roll my wisdom check. Okay. Yeah. Besides that. <laughs> did you roll a one? No, I rolled a seven. seven. <laughs> but I come. I had to do the joke. Somebody. Did somebody have? We picked up detonators from the uh, Cold Fusion Club. <laughs> And grenades, right? I was reading about detonators. Uh -oh. Detonators can be attached to grenades, and then you can uh, remotely activate them mm -hmm. from your comm unit at distance. So I'm just thinking that at some point we could put them in the wall as a retreat point. If we get chased by a big bad, we race past it, and then we wait and then psh, blow them up. I've got a better one. What do you got? We, we just, as we go, we throw the grenade. <clears throat> Walk ah. up to it. Pick it up, throw it again. As soon as we see something coming at us, D -D -D, hit the grenade. Oh, I love it. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> Until you mistime it. Until the bad guy picks <laughs> it up and goes, ooh, what's this? And then hopefully they go, <laughs> and then by that time, hopefully we... And blow them up. Let's do that. Uh, what, what what's do the Sorry. cause of death? Uh, you need to give me a medicine check for that. I believe he's dead. Jim. He's dead, Jim. Nineteen. I 19 think I think check. he died from appendicitis. You uh, those damn You look at the body and a broken heart. <laughs> the, the, uh, it, it looks like it was implanted with the Akata's void death. death. You know the 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 embryos that the Akata implanted in people. Mm -hmm. um, looks like this guy was implanted and died from it as a result of it. Do we see like an exit wound, like a like it busted out of him or something? No, it looks like he did not survive the implantation process. Mm. They killed him trying to take it off. Shall we? He is wearing an Estex <laughs> suit one with a backup generator armor upgrade and is holding an empty survival flare gun. Estex suit one, huh? Yes. If is you that did... a heavy armor? Or... I don't know. Is, is the armor it. intact? It is an Estex suit one. E what is it? How do you spell it? E S T E S T E X. E S T E X. Oh, okay. Searching. Aztec suit one, level one, price four ten, EAC bonus yeah. zero, KAC bonus plus one, max dex plus five. Oh, it's light armor. No, uh, no, it, it's it has light the yeah, light armor. It's light. It's armor. actually it's actually worse than second skin. But it does have two upgrade. And it, one of those is a backup generator armor upgrade. And the backup generator, does anybody remember what that does? I think it allows you to be out in the environment longer. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, calling it up now. I like this. Backup oh, generator. Work, you can connect like charged that. electrode items, such as batteries, work. to this miniature generator and recharge them. The electricity comes from the kinetic energy of your movement, which generates one charge every 10 minutes of movement. You can plug no more than one item in at a time, and it doesn't produce charges when you're resting or stationary. So it will charge your guns for you and oh. other stuff while you move. So we should, we should put that in somebody's armor for sure. Can, can, can we easily take the mod out of the armor now? I don't think we need to carry all the armor. It's an engineering person. check and takes... Tr Traeger can do this in 10 minutes. He's very fast. He is very smart. Yeah. Yeah. can help him out, too. If he needs a... Who's, getting, who's, getting, who's filling their upgrade slot? Because you only have one, typically, one armor upgrade slot, right? Well, I don't know. What do you guys have for armor upgrade slots? Uh, one slot on mine. And you already have something in it. Isn't your mirror image thing in there? Nope. That's a, a operative... Skill. Yeah, anybody who has second skin has one upgrade slot unless you put something in it already. My thin plate is full. So the only one full is Ozzy. Trigger, do you want that? I can take that, yes. How about you install it on yours? Okay, okay. What am I putting in there? A generator? A backup generator. And I am, I am down to 20% on my iPhone. Do you think you could charge it for me? I can do a transfer charge. Ooh, that is good to That's know. Nothing. I'm sorry, I was gonna be snarky, but I got nothing. <laughs> we might need that later if we're stuck here and we have no means of like recharging from a ship. Our all of our bullets now, all of our batteries, every shot we, we use is one less. 
Well, it's like, not like it isn't just like, hey, we have charge now. It's a transfer, so it's, mm. and it has to be between two objects of the same type. Oh, by the way, one last question. I was looking at our all of our loot. Um, when we there's one item that we did not assign. There was a Nakata fight, and we got a tactical arc emitter pistol. It's a small arm. I think it shoots electricity, <coughs> but it does it like in a area of the. Yeah, I thought you took it. I might be holding it right now, but I, I thought know. you'd take it or use it. But did it have charges in it? I forget. I think it just had whatever standard charges. Came would with Ghost it. give that up? Probably no. not. But if Trigger says give it to somebody, he would. Oh, that's true. I forgot about I forgot about the trigger effect. The trigger effect. We got to name everything. <laughs> That's good. That's one thing we learned. No, no, no. Reading a book yeah, just hang on to it because we can we can always sell it back later and use that to buy upgraded weapons. Okay. Yeah. I guess Ghost will hang on to it for now. Yeah. So we're reading a book at work that's just like it talks about like work processes and how to like write code and like it's very kind of sort of a technical book and the thing that we learned from it most important today is you've got to name your projects. If you don't name your project, it's no good. I agree. I've got clients who have really good ideas for names, like Tetris, Optimus oh. Maximus. They, they had really cool secret names. They're for their totally products. like, like on the border of um, Gen X and, uh, and Bob. Uh, it has 12, it has twelve charges remaining. We oh, have a okay, bunch nice. of stuff. We actually um, for robotics, the woman that runs the robot code that specifically, battery, it's like right? the first night of the programming like class. Yeah. She's like, all of your variables will be named for the things that they do. Oh no, that's this is because new. we have like because we always oh, yeah. have nicknames for stuff because like, theme this year is Star Wars. Wars. So like we have this one thing in our robot that everybody calls it the Death Star. I'm allowed to say Death Star in the code. Uh, All right, so you got to play that. Trigger, we assist you both Nala and I. We give you a plus two each. You have a plus four on your engineering check to install. And we're all in that cavern, right? You're all up here. And I'm totally watching the eastern um, tunnel. By the way. While this is going on, standing guard. Oh, it trigger. Could you set up the detonator on a on a uh, grenade as well in the way that Ozymandias is describing? He's got a good brain. Yeah, I think. I think I can. All right. And we'll give you help on engineering for that too. Plus two from as we start to die from dehydration. Well, it's, wait, it's like three time. hours later. But attaching a detonator, it's ten hours later. Bob, you will be you you will you will ride every detail until you starve to death because that's who you are. <laughs> you will take all the fun out of it to have every single strategic advantage because that's how you work. That is the fun of it. Though. <laughs> that is your fun. Yeah. <laughs> all right, um, you 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 found the Dedecrean body. You found you you pillaged it for whatever you wanted to get off of it. Does he have a nameplate or a dog tag or something? Oh, that's good. Murphy. Karen? There was a no. Jones and a Smith, I don't, and a Green, I think, and a Johnson. Maybe there's a Murphy. Okay. Very, uh, Listen, I had it right away. <laughs> well, I mean, is Robo Cosell with us? Robo Cosell zooms in. It takes a picture of the of the body. It notes the the uh, the wounds. And although you realize that we are now pretty much on film, stealing this armor upgrade from the Brotherhood. That is fine. From the Hard Travel Collective, rather. Sorry. I have no problem Everything you found was yours. That was oh, yes. what Nor said. You cannot use it. And we are stranded here because they sent the ship back. They are watching us right now. They the, know that we don't have the ship. The ambassador of Eox has stranded six people here in cold blood. Screw you, ambassador. And by the way, there was a secret box that he did not want anyone to know about that is on the ship. And now that is, he has left us here to die with Ghost! his secret box. Ghost, shut up. Do you want to get paid or not? There was a box full of pornography our, uh, on the ship. Our ship was marked. You, was it, oh. Animals was it, was it Eoxian porn? Yes. Oh. Oh. Wait, is that, oh. is that legal? Is that... <laughs> Undead porn? <laughs> is that technically... Was it underage? Oh. All right, anyway. Never mind. Is, is, it, is it the age before death or after death? Like, which one counts? This is not right. I'm going to go back to putting my reversal schedule in the This hall. is definitely not right. <laughs> on, Henry. All right, where are we going? So uh, we're throwing the grenade down the hallway, There's and then March we're 13th. moving down. Walking up to catch the grenade, pick up the grenade. Mm -hmm. Sure. This is a bad plan. No. It's a good plan. It'll be even more fun <clears throat> when Josh makes it literally blow up in our face. Yes. <laughs> we're look, listening, feeling. Let us know if you need perception checks. All right, so you're going single Why file through here, so who goes first? I think we have to, Ozzy. I was going to say Taflash in hand, but it doesn't need it, does he? Ozzy then. 
Uh, Ghost will go second. <clears throat> Bala? Uh, I'll go right behind. Is there like a high road or a low, like... The ceiling's 15 it's... feet. I'll just go Ghost is on road. the ceiling, so... Oh, I just stand remembered. Under him. When we were doing the Underdark campaign, I had my druid. I did the same thing in spider form, a spider climb. <clears throat> That's right. That was very cool. And by the way, I'm just thinking about what this would be like. It's almost pitch black, except for the lights from the ghost lights. That are, yeah. You're in your spacesuits, so you're hearing yourself. <sighs> and, I... and your flashlight. It's, uh, there, are actually, there are only four lights in six Great of us. So. The that these helmets that we're wearing do not have lights built into them. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and the other thing that we have to get used to is like to move down the hallway, you have to push off a wall and then kind uh, of yeah. float. And yeah, I, you're kind of bumping into each other every now and then. As oh, well. so, so, so I'm going to bring up the Except point that your, your grenade G that you keep throwing thing. doesn't stop. No, it, it crashes into the wall ahead of us. It stops at every corner. Oh, so you're telling me I should make a check just in case it detonates every time. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Henry. Because that's, that's a great idea. Henry. <laughs> the chances would be one in a hundred. I mean, I'd call it. I, I, I'd call it a one out of twenty. Yeah, I'd have to roll, roll a natural one. Five percent. Do you know how many troops in Afghanistan would be dead? Like if just a grenade. We're not throwing the goblin. Henry. We're not throwing the goblin uh, pistols <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Henry, that was five percent. That was five percent. I was going to say, could you imagine like? All right, who's, who is next behind Nala? I'll go. We should probably put the. Uh, Why don't we put the, the uh, Android? Clara? Yeah. Clara 247. Right, at least you bring up the, the rear here with the goblins? Yeah, I, I think guess. the goblins in the rear is a good Clara, idea. how much were they paying you for this job? 500 credits. Only 500 credits? But I got to keep the ship. That's that's why she got it all up front. Hmm. But I got to keep the ship. See, I got to that. Don't forget, she does have to pay for maintenance, but she doesn't have to pay for food. Yes. She technically doesn't need lodging if she doesn't need to sleep. Do you sleep? No. When you sleep, do you dream of ele <coughs> electric sheep? <laughs> do you dream of electric sheep? That's All right. So Ozzy, Ozzy throws his. Ozzy is throwing the grenade. I'm assuming it just keeps going. Well, I think if I. Uh, I agree. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, uh, it just going. keeps going. Um, and don't forget, you know, I'm, I'm a trained soldier. I, I can work in zero G. And by the way, uh, in small spaces. If that corridor keeps going, those of us who have uh, dark vision, we can still see that far, right? That's only. I don't know if your dark vision is spoiled by having light or not. Hmm. That's a good question. That because it, it is in D and D. Well, if it works in D and D, let's just assume it works the same in Starfinder. Uh, I at least see kill the light so that our little ones can see down the huh. hall. That's a good idea too. Lights are gone. Oh, hold on a second, because there's something in here that you have, that you'll want to see before I. Um, Four tunnels and exit this cavern to the north, south, east, and west. <coughs> Strangely, however, while the south and west passages are hewn rock, the north and east passages are finished in line with some sort of polished metallic plating on the floors, walls, floors, and ceiling. As um, I don't see it on as screen. Ozzy enters, oh, oh. a creature races at him. How does From it wait? Is it's uh, is it on the ground? Is it pushing off a wall to race at us? How does it? Uh, it has claws that dig in. It runs on all fours. Hmm. So it, does, it keeps itself anchored as it runs. Yes. Okay. Which side is it coming from? Where do we know? Sometimes, boss. Yeah. <laughs> I will show you the picture of it because it's pretty scary looking. Do we know which side it's coming? from? It is coming toward him. Oh, you mean the floor or the ceiling? No, I mean like which. Direction? It is coming it from is coming toward from him. The, okay, that's oh. what it come, cor could come towards me from the north or the south. Actually, it comes from the south. It comes from down here. It came from the south. It came from the south. That was a good question. That was a valid question, Jules. Yeah, no, I'm with you, Jules. I'm defending you. Don't give me those eyes when I'm helping you. Where's the I could not help you in the future. The grenade went straight. That's why. It must have hurt. It must have hurt clanking around in the vacuum. Yeah, rehearsal on Pi Day. Are there doors on those entrances, or is it just open and lined walls? It is. It is polished metal. Like finished, oh, but no doors. It's just kind of correct. Oh. Uh, moving you to this page, um, if you scroll down a little bit, yep, Bob. Uh, next to the the Akata is the big blue thing. Ooh. This thing with the big purple tongue oh. is what is. Uh, uh, it's, <clears throat> it's wearing some sort of shredded spacesuit. Is that an uh, a Acuron spacesuit? Oh, it looks like BB-8. It is. Uh, it is. De it is yeah. definitely the remains of an Acreon. Um, 
mem- a team member. Ooh. Is that what happens when uh, you have the Akata baby? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The prospector is wearing a spacesuit, but the lower half of its helmet is shattered, and a repulsive, bloated, blue-gray tongue ha- ha- hangs from the remnants of the zombie's lower jaw. The feeding back. tendril of the larval Akata inside. The feeding tendril. Whoa. This void zombie attacks anyone entering the cavern. Um, so let's roll for initiative. I only see lights, lights, lights. My lights are on. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Ghost rolled poorly. He got a seven. You rolled poorly. 17. A seven. That's a good roll. Yeah, We're going to need go it. first. Seven. Ten. Six. Hold on a second. got to add everybody. Ten. We're not rolling as well as we did in that other fight. You, well, no, you're we're just, just gonna bring rolls out first. No, he has not ruled. <clears throat> Famous last words. Don't worry, guys. There's only one of them. <laughs> Trigger got a 16. So Trigger's at 16. 14, 17 for him. Uh, Nala, you got a 10. The thing is, you guys are all bottled up in the hall. Ozzy, what'd you get? Six. Oh boy. Ghost got his seven. Wow. Ayalisi? 17. Oh, Sorry. you're the only one who rolled well. You Well, you and Trigger. The heck? I think, I think we all just push into the room and surround circle or circle around it. It doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> well, I mean, the ceilings are 15 feet high, so we can kind of... Uh, so does anyone want to roll for Clara? Or are you just going to let her do Oh, Clara, there? I'll... Okay, hang on. She's found hand and foot. She's not found... <clears throat> well, she can still walk, and you got to roll for the... Uh, Somebody's got to roll for the goblins. I, I'll roll for the goblins. I, I don't know what any of her bonuses are, Josh, but I rolled an 11. All right, I'll give her bonuses. Her uh, and it is plus five, so he has a 16. That's a good roll. I rolled a nat 14 on the goblins. Really? Yep. Yeah. Nice job. They, didn't have a, they have a 17 then. Oh, how high is the ceiling in the main chamber? I imagine it's... It, 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 so it, it, it expands to 30 feet. 30 feet? It expands oh, to 30 feet. 30. Okay. The goblins and I are holding so we got up the some rear and we're there. first. So we could potentially occupy the same space you know, yes. vertically. Yes. Um, the creature is operates before Ozzy, so it does attack Ozzy. Uh-oh. Um, I, least, I think what you should do is hold up one of the goblins so they can shoot. <laughs> Bob, why'd you mute him? <laughs> <laughs> why did I miss all of the important information that was You done? knew what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the... Um, creature chases, um, races, races up to, um, Ozzy. Ozzy. The giant tongue lashes out. But Clara's blocking him, right? <laughs> no, Clara's back there with you. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't use her. I mean, she's a captured combatant. She gave up willfully. I couldn't put her in harm's way. Uh, 17 but versus EA versus KAC. Miss. Oh, man. I love that armor. That was a good investment. Man. That's why I bought the armor instead of the weapon. I'm seeing a lot of 16s and like. I gotta say, this is the first time that armor has really saved me though. I think. All right, so the two points. goblins are next. They are at the back. They have no way to get to the front. Mm-mm. Unless they no, they Adam, I'm kind of weak on upgrading. They, on upgrading his they armor can stuff. go up to the ceiling. They can push up but to the ceiling. They, yeah, but they can. They can't. <clears throat> they have no propulsion there. They they can move their two squares. What but, if well, I throw? One? I want to clarify it. Because this turn. is good for us to know if we're going to do zero G. Well, we right seen. now they're on the floor, presumably. Yes. So they push off. They go above people's heads. They go up to the 15 feet. Then they hit the ceiling. Yes. They would stop. At that point, maybe next turn, they would grab the side of the wall up the ceiling and push to slide themselves down the ceiling of the hallway. Yes. You see what I mean? Yes. That, 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 that hence the two squares at a time. Agreed. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are on the same page. Yes, but they would that would open them up because then they would have a line of sight against the creature. They could shoot from fifteen feet up. Except you're you're providing cover for the creature right now because you're already up there. Only around the corner, but there I think there's an angle. I don't know. I'd be hard to say. <laughs> I think the goblins are a lost cause right now. Well, they could take a minus two to hit. If they want. They could. Fire. It's yeah. only minus two. Or they could just pass. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a minus two to shoot? What's the big deal? And they don't really have line of sight. Yeah, they're too short. Okay. All right. Uh, I at least you're up. Also, are they smart enough to go jump on the ceiling? They're space goblins. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, they can't even see what's going on. I mean, they're, they're that's 30 why told, feet away. That's why I told I at least to pick one of them up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. I at least even know what's going on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> why are we stopped? <laughs> 
<laughs> he bumped in the, yeah, in, in, in the trigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trigger bumps in the Clara. <laughs> Clara's like, hey, stop grabbing my butt. Get your nose out of my butt, rat. Back to you, uh, Lisa. <laughs> we will fall down. If I wasn't standing behind you, I'd pull this pin. I'm gonna shoot at it with my azimuth pistol. Uh, I don't think you have. You don't have. A, you don't have a line of sight. You don't have anything at it. Because if I move, this is just a shitty. Like this is a bad. So there's no roll. way. There's just no way to She's actually got, do this. If she goes up, if she pushes herself up to the ceiling, she has line of sight on him. Because look, that's yeah. I'll give her line of sight. There, there's some amount of cover there. I don't know how much it is though. Uh, I you know, I'll, I'll give it to her if you want. If you want to jump up. I want to jump. You jump so, up so and shoot. I guess over cons, you just hear, ah! And then you know something wrong. Something bad. <laughs> Go for it. Sorry. Oh, he's hurting me. He's hurting me. We are being 17. attacked. Wait, do you have a bonus? Plus two. Probably. Yeah. Plus, yeah. Plus it's okay. It's EAC is 11. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. One. That's not really good. I... Thank you. Uh, is this That's creature resistant to We have a 25% chance of getting that. You will have so. to find out. Did it look like it took damage when it got hit? It said ow. It's... Nobody can, <laughs> I heard it over the pops. Yeah, nobody can hear it though. Nobody can hear you owsy in space. It did. It appeared to take the damage. It, it winced. It winced. It winced. <laughs> Trigger, you're up. Trigger could do the same thing. Okay, so yeah, I was going to say, so if I at least you could do it, she's behind you. Trigger, you could also just jump up and kind of stand on uh, Clara's head. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. I could do that. Um, let's do that. I'm going to jump up and land on Clara's shoulders. Nice. You expect Clara to allow you to do that after you've after binding her? I tell her that's what I'm about to do. You say don't move? Yeah, don't move. I'm about to jump on your shoulders to try to attack this. She cooperates. Did we give her a pistol or no? no? I, I last time I wanted her bound hand and foot. I don't know what ended, what ended up happening. I think you bound her hands, but you left her feet so she could move. We, we, we did not. We did not bind her feet. She's not bound at the feet. Is she armed or unarmed? Do you recall? You did not arm her. I have her pistol on your birthday. Uh -huh. No, I can hand her a pistol if we need to. Okay. I am standing on her shoulders, and I'm I have assuming two her hands are bound in front of her. Uh, I rolled with that thirteen plus five, I, eighteen. That's a hit. Her hands are bound in front of her then, so they, they would be effective if she needed to be. Yes. Okay. Only so she can defend herself if she needs to. Also, it's a lot harder to reach the grenade on your back when they're bound in front of you. It's hard to reach anything. Yeah, just put the sling on her. <laughs> um, <laughs> Josh, three, three points of damage, Josh. The slathering mouth. Like, Ozzy is like, got his arm up, and the tongue is just all over it, slobbering all over your your your, your face mask. Most action had in years. <laughs> Uh, Clara, Clara What's says, that? do you want me to throw you closer? Yes. Clara hurls you. Hmm. He, she does her best to hurl you not into ghost, but you guys, I would, I would hold you as you get past each other in that corridor. Mm -hmm. Um, Mike, give me a acrobatics check. Nice. I like that. Okay. I'm trying to work with you. Yeah. I wish I went earlier. Uh, I want to bowl up. And just ac this thing. Acrobatics, right? Acrobatics. Uh, yes. 16. All right, and Ghost, you give me an acrobatics check to make sure you don't get hit. You don't, don't get clipped as he goes by. Sure thing. Uh, acrobatics. There go. It's a dex space one. 32. You definitely avoid it. Oh, you must be an operative. <laughs> you managed to get to this spot and stop yourself. Awesome. Except Bob's Bob's not sharing his screen. Bob, why don't you extend your screen versus duplicate it? Uh, oh, because message with the resolution. Exactly. Just a note: uh, Yasoki hmm. might get a bonus when in space when they're trying to do acrobatics type stuff. But go ahead. He made it up to here. He managed to stop himself too. Ooh, he made it to the other side of the room. No, he made it. To, he's just north oh, of the I creature. Oh, I see. I see. He's just north of the creature. Yes. Nice. Um. Clara is done. We got, we got nah. Nala. Nala. Oh, wait, may I ask a what? question? Uh, Ghost, when you were passing over the creature 15 feet above it, you could pull a shot off, right? He already shot. Okay. I already shot him. Got Does it. the creature get an opportunity to attack? Well, no, he's still close enough to the creature. Correct. If you if you are above the creature and falling out of its range, 
Do you does it get an opportunity attack? I would think it would. If you're in range of the strike. If, if the height yeah. is right. If How far? 15 feet up. No. Um, I don't know, it has cover behind Ozzy, but yeah, you can fire. Feet. Are you going to get it? Is she directly behind me? No, she's not. Between between the stone and Ozzy, I'm going to give it cover. If you sure. want to delay, Ghost is going to clear himself to the other end of the room. I'll stay there. Then I'll have cover. Then. Are you getting it? Get him? Oh, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> I will stop right there and say, hey, let's get that one right there. But not Frenchy? <laughs> yes, it does not count. <laughs> what do I get? Minus what? Minus two. Six. <laughs> I think you asked. I think that might have made a difference. That was close, Jeff. <laughs> that was super close. Right, maybe they have a really bad deck. Uh, that was now a ghost. Uh, ghost will push off the rock wall here. He's already 15 feet up. He's going to angle himself towards the roof of this big cavern. And he is going to push himself to the center of the cavern. He'll pass over this creature at about 20 feet when he gets to here. And he's just going to push himself up until he hits about here, and he's going to be right at the, the ceiling of the cavern. I think he's going to travel half of his speed and then continue to travel in the next round. Right, yes. but he has Jet Dash, which, if he moves quickly, makes his speed times six. I uh, know. So half of his speed I'm will not be... giving you Jet Dash in zero G. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to draw the line somewhere. Or, or he could take Jet Dash, but he takes how much damage when he impacts the, other, the uh, <laughs> end of his, of his uh, glide? Jet Dash increases your speed if you if you run. I think I might want to get rid of that feat then. All right. Or oh, only at zero G is negative. That's fine. He'll he'll do that anyways. So he'll arrive next turn. And as he moves over the creature, well, you move up to half your speed right now. Yes. Correct. And his speed is like forty, so he's going to move twenty feet. All right. And as he passes over the creature, he'll take a pot shot. All right. But he's Remember, not there. He's not there until next turn. But we just need a marker. You're, you're not aiming down there. It's it's coming up. Right. <laughs> I forget what that is now. But that's exactly that's right. You're, you're, you're I, I don't know if there's a negative for, for firing in motion. <laughs> we move and shoot. And yeah. Continue yeah. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's all yours. I, I mean, don't think it's a trick attack. No. Honestly, your 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 platform is stable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was not stable enough, though. He rolled a natural four and a nine EAC. That is not going to quite cut it. It's not far, though. Did you include your get him? Uh, it would have been a ten. But still, still not, not quite enough. there. <laughs> Eleven. You're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a jerk. What do you want? Ghost, you're up. I mean, Ozzy, you're up. Okay, Ozzy wants to put his feet on the wall behind him and angle this guy to hit impact the wall over there in a bull rush so bull rush is you knock the target back five feet plus an additional five feet for every five by which the result of your attack exceeds the target's kac plus eight but obstacles in the way like the wall so the target's in so how do you want to do this half speed i was i was waiting for you to tell me give me a well i guess we should make an opposed strength check that's not part of it how does bull rush work as, as a you knock the target back five feet plus an additional five feet for every five by which the result of your attack roll exceeds the target's KAC plus eight. Ah, I see. So All right, so my KAC plus eight is 23. Oh, boy. So I guess I'm doing an unarmed attack? I guess. The result of your attack roll. And I, I'm, I'm going to push you back with my whip. Mm. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's still, it yeah, it's a okay. grappling. It's a grapply thing. Because that gives me a better, more, better chance to attack. And you're holding your whip. Really? Two, Natural 23. 17. 17 plus 6, because I got plus 1 from... 23. So, exactly. That ties... My, my KAC was 15 plus 8 is 23. So okay, you... so I push you back at least 5 feet. So are, are we... When my intent is to clear the hallway so people can come out. You've pushed them back 5 feet. The only question now is, is it going to be 5 feet or something less... Something more or something less. Or actually, to happen to our uh, since, since, since it's been using its claws to secure itself, you did dislodge it. Okay. Give me a D4, and I will move it that many squares. That work? Four. Or you could, it's zero G. I wanted to push it back towards the wall. I don't want to push it down the hallway. Did it impact the wall? No, it just happened to stop right there. You wanted and I to, think I was, I yeah, was it, it caught it. it caught itself. That way or this I, way? I said that way. This way, right? Yeah. So he wanted to go down here, Josh. No, 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 no. He got he put it in the right place. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, all right. Sorry. I'm gonna move you into the middle here. Is that good for you? That's fine. Yeah. 
like it. Um, yeah, he, he caught himself with his claws. Okay. All so right. I, I, I'm still right up in his grill, pushing him with my... That's okay, because now he's going to attack you again. Mm-hmm. And I say, I moved him to the end back of the chamber. Freaking two. I'm using add, a Benny. Add it up. I'm using a Benny. Nine. Freaking 17. Uh, KAC or EAC? Uh, it's got to be K, K yeah. Yeah. That's a miss. It's a feeding tendril. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Still a miss whether it's claws or a feeding tendril. It's attacking KAC. It is EAC missed twice. would have been just barely it. It is missed twice. All right. I'm okay with this. The goblins are protecting the rear in case to make sure nobody sneaks up on you. I can't tell anyway. <laughs> I'm helping Jules. I, at least you're up. The goblins? Do the goblins ever go? No, they're, they're protecting the rear and making sure nobody sneaks up on you guys. No, because I delayed for them the beginning, and then they never did anything. I don't know. I don't know why I chose to be responsible for that. I just cast them somewhere else. <laughs> All right, you're up. Um, I'm assuming I'm too far away to. You are on the ceiling. Right now, right? You're on the ceiling. You can st- you can move two squares, and then you can have Claire throw you further, like like. Uh, triggered it or you can go no. actually if you moved your two squares i don't think you have a lot i don't think you have if you went here That's over fine. clara no you don't have a, you don't have an option from there that's fine i'm gonna magic missile okay from where you are are you advancing um i'll move a little closer just for okay you move the one square one. you fire your magic missiles yeah 3d4 Oh, no, you moved. It's only 2d4. It is only 2d4. Oh, you can only do 3d4 as a part of a move? Yes. Seven. Yeah. So that's, a, that's not a bad roll. Yeah, I rolled a three and a four. Puppies. Can I make a final right. suggestion? You might want to consider going to bed after like the next round or two, because yeah. I can hear you falling asleep at this right now. <laughs> I'm falling asleep? Trigger. You're, you're, definitely, you're definitely fading then. Oh, focused on this. Trigger, you're up, buddy. Okay, um... So Trigger needs... So right now Ghost is blocking him, right? Right. You can move one up and be okay. No, no. I'm okay. heading towards the ceiling, right? Yeah, but he's in the ceiling too. Oh, okay. He was on Claire's yeah. shoulders. Oh, but right. I don't think I reached the ceiling, right? Because I didn't have the distance. So I may not... I may be lower than him right now. It, it's just as easy to move him. Okay. One, and then not worry about it. Sure. <laughs> All right. So um, Trigger's going to shoot him with his laser pistol. All right. I can hear you falling asleep whether you admit it or not. Um, 17. As a hit. Two. Alrighty. Alright, trigger went. Um, Clara has nothing to do. Unless somebody wants to give her a weapon. Well, unfortunately, she threw me out of the way, so I can't give her the extra... That's the lie. So if somebody else has an extra one that they want to give her. Robot, I've got something for you. Wait. Clara delays. All right, now I'm <laughs> Where can you get in there? You can move up. You can move two spaces. You can move one to here, certainly. Let's say do one more in that direction. There. If you're on the ground, you're you on the ground. Line Mike, you have a clear line of sight. Yeah, Bob is not in your way then. Yeah, I'm floating. So the ghost is not in your way. Do you have to so I have a clear line of sight to the black thing? Yes. To the void zombie. I'll fire. I will say. You lost your get him because you moved. So do you have to get him every round? Yes. Yeah, yeah. or it wears off. Oh, wow. it's a, he could double move and not get an attack and give it give all of us a get him. I don't think he needs a. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But it's got a, what, an EAC 11 or something? So EAC is 11, yeah. KAC oh, is shoot. I think you can just shoot. Natural one. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Some rubble falls on Ghost as he goes by. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ghost, you're up. Uh, he. So you continue to hear? Continues. Am I at the ceiling yet? I'll say you're at the ceiling there. If you're at the ceiling when you're in zero G, you have to make an acrobatics check when you run into something. If you fail it, you become off kilter. 
All right. Um, so, and then that's bad. Acrobatics success twenty six. So he he's an acro. He's an acro. He's not gonna fail anything. He, he latches onto the wall. I think he's failed like one check okay. the entire campaign. And then a very surprising move. He says, "Robot, take this," and the big sniper rifle that you thought he loved <laughs> goes flying through the air towards the robot. You know, it's a good thing I'm engaged in melee combat right now, and I have no idea what you're doing. As it slowly tumbles <laughs> head over, butt over rifle, hey guys, you have enough time good? to think, that sniper rifle, it only gets one shot off at a time, which means you get one shot, and then you lose a round having to reload. So if we had to give a weapon to a bad guy, that would be the weapon to give, because it can only fire once, and then they're hosed. But then at that point, it reaches Clara. And, Cl- and Clara goes, I can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> Clara seems fast. She can grab that thing and fire. Come on, man. The goblins can untie Clara if you tell them to. Isn't there like a dex check or something to be able to fire a weapon with your hands tied? I feel oh. like it wouldn't make it impossible. <laughs> she could do it at a minus four, six, eight. Yeah. If it was a pistol, it'd be one thing. I mean, the, the point is, I mean, it's a, it's a long sniper rifle. Which she's skilled at because she was using it. I, she, I, I'll, I will... I think she, I think she could... If she wanted to, she I'm gonna give it. I, to okay, do so it. I'm gonna I give don't it. think she'd be very accurate. I'm Maybe she's faking it. Maybe she can use it. If she doesn't want to. I am gonna give a acrobatics check to catch it. DC ten. She's tied up. DC, she's DC 14. 15? 14. 14. But what about my acrobatics check to make the perfect throw? We're taking that into account. Oh, you are. Okay. I rolled a sixteen. So she catches it, aims it. I'm gonna based on the she. She stepped up to catch it, so she's not behind the block anymore. Um, she's still going to get a minus four. I, I can't. Honestly, I think it will five, minus four is pretty lenient. <laughs> and a natural four. So she gets a zero. Effect zero, <laughs> pluses. But she doesn't shoot anybody. Uh, so anybody. If she, if she missed and hit me, we'd be having words. <laughs> she, it was a t- <coughs> it was definitely She might have a chance of unbinding herself. No, they're binders. They're, 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 they're handcuffs, effectively. No, Jules, you're going to bed. Yeah, it's 10 7. Never here, you can stay up for the rest of the combat, but then you're going to bed. It's 10 7? 10 7. Acrobatic, maybe? Sleight of hand? Maybe sleight of hand? Oh, lock picking. Like a. Like, there's a Blue few ways. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, that's, that's Ghost. Ghost went Ozzy. Um, Ozzy is going to use fight defensively mm. and attack with his tack lash. Basically. Defensively. 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 Kind of, so he does it like a garbage. Flash. Yeah. Oh, let's not forget about your coordinated shot as well. Oh yeah. Everybody should have been getting a plus one. That's forgot about that. All right. Nobody missed by a plus one. That'll hit. That's fortunate. Uh, let's see. Eighteen. Yeah, it's gonna hit. Minus four, plus five. So yeah, it's set gonna hit. nineteen. Eight damage. And I have a plus two to AC. And it goes down. Okay. Whoa. The tack lash. What is a <clears throat> what is an actual tack lash? Is it a whip? It's it's really a whip. The whip whips out around the, the tongue, whips, really? yanking the, 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 the thing out of him out of its mouth. Picture like venom with killing it. <laughs> killing it. Ugh. You killed it. So I, I look at the uh, at the at the uniform and it definitely looks like the Creon. Oh, definitely in a Creon. Uh, Robo Cosell can, can get another look at this. Can we tell which Creon is it? Is it Johnson or Green or Murphy? O'Rourke? It is um, Miller. Spellbrook? I feel like now <laughs> we it. have more names than crew members. <laughs> you know, we got to be prepared. What are you looking up, Bob? I was trying to see what a tack lash actually looked like. There's a description here. I forget. It, it's like, it basically comes down to a whip. There should be a picture. In, there might be a picture in the armory book. If they have different ones, um, it is definitely a member of the Creon. It's wearing what's the remains of the co- of the suit. The bottom jaw is broken open. Um, As I look around, I'm gonna roll a perception check, and I definitely the first thing I see is the sniper rifle in uh, Clara's hands, mm-hmm. and I stalk over to as best I can in zero G, grab the rifle out of her hand, and smash her in the face with the with the other hand. 
Like, that's so nice. You also recognize the tack, uh, the sniper rifle is empty. It's spent. You probably and I and then yeah, and and I take the I take the magazine and I throw it. I oh, I, I pocket it. <laughs> she stands up, looks you in the face, and kicks you in the nuts. <laughs> I, opposed, I, I, bat, opposed acrobatics check? <laughs> That's no, gonna let her kick me in the nuts. No, because it kicks I'm you now. You're floating up there. I'm, I, I'm not, I, she should get a post check for the, for the punch too. Then sure. Okay, that was. A, I'll do my attack roll. I, well, actually, it's just a, it's an AC. It's KAC versus. Uh, where's Claire's sheet? Nineteen. Is it hit? Claire returns the favor with a nineteen as well. All right, I'm up in the ceiling. <laughs> and she's on the ground. But I get the weapon. <laughs> I'm not letting go of, I'm it, not letting it, go of the gun. It, How did it, you get this? Stop. Would you, would you two would you guys get your shit together? He gives it to me. You're pissed off about it, and I'm trying to kill the freaking monster to save your ass. Hold this. Goes to checking the body. Yeah. See, the strange, the strange this thing is... This isn't a game of hot potato. Can we just decide who gets the gun and stick with it? <laughs> Anybody but her. <laughs> <laughs> and since, since 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 Ghost can't seem to keep track of his his armaments, we'll give it to Nala. Ghost, do you trust her? Nala. Our no, she okay, took a shot. Did she shoot any of us? Her she hands does. were bound. If she was aiming for us and hit, it would have been a lucky shot. It was a test. She passed a test. Uh, how long can she uh, live out in the open space? She do not. Need, I do not think the robot needs to breathe. <laughs> she doesn't need to breathe. So, but but, but that's different than how long can she live out? Yeah. Uh, without me. Yeah. What's her battery life? I don't know. So when I, when I finally work my way to the ground, I grab uh, Ghost. Is no. she a Duracell or Energizer? Ghost. 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 Say, we don't give weapons to prisoners. They toss him to wherever he lands. It would, it would be amazing if you were able to grab him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grappling check. Gra- oh. Opposed to inter-party fight. You know, yeah. I mean, I, the- as I try and chase you around, like 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 Rocky tra- trying to chase the chicken, chicken in the first half of the movie, not in the second half, <laughs> the first half, I go, <laughs> don't give the we- prisoners weapons. <laughs> I did roll a 30 on my athletics check. Uh, that is a natural 17. <laughs> I rolled a natural six. I wasn't going to add my bonuses. Ooh. Especially against somebody who's so cooperative. All right. So the more interesting... You seem very upset. <laughs> you gave the person... You gave the person who tried to kill us a sniper rifle. The same sniper rifle that she already tried to kill us with. You do Are not seem to understand the code. man-made caverns that we see in front of us and to the north? Uh, I need a DC... I need an engineering or a life science check to try to determine what's, what's plating the walls. I will also check. I understand getting killed. I have to have too many of my 15 French. engineering. 19 engineering. All right. <clears throat> I will help... Mm. Elise with her check. I, can spell I will help Trigger with his check. I'm sure once it comes I can in. spell engineering 30, if 31. you give me four of the letters to start with. I rolled a natural 19. I rolled a 31 engineering. Oh. Who is this guy that rolls for Bob? Because Bob never rolled 19 know, before. Right? But it's only on skill checks. Mm. That's, mm. <laughs> that's about the right of it. Yeah. So the, the uh, Can we go back to the map, Bob? A very smart operative, I guess. Uh, at the very top, where the, the white line, where the white is revealed, that actually opens the space. Um, it is a, the, with this the, the the wall there and the wall going off to the east are are, are purely polished metal, definitely um, not naturally occurring. Oh, did we call Robo Cosell over to get a look at this? And Ro- Robo Cosell is flying all over the place. It is it's documenting everything. It's it's recording everything. So the door is separate. empty. It's the space. This, it's this, another entrance to the cave. Yeah. Yes, but it was, it was you, you couldn't see it from, from space. Yeah, it's like a you know it's like a fifteen foot tunnel. Yeah, we would uh, not yeah. have seen it very uh, easily. The, what is going on with these guys? They cannot decide who is in charge. Give her the gun. Take it away. Punch her in the face. Take one to the nads. What is this Someone. team doing? Are they going to selfish? Oh. Are they going to finish the mission? Before I will they? say too, this is not even close to the first time that. <laughs> Ozzy has been kicked in the nuts. <laughs> uh, do you want a separate life science check? No, or same thing. Is, engineering fine? Engineering. is there a rock on the ground? Any pebble or loose detritus? You said there was some rubble that. Fell yeah, out. I mean, there's still, there's still, it's still a natural cave. Otherwise, but so those two. Ghost walls. picks up a rock and throws it um, in zero g through the north 
entrance just yep. to see does it carry forward beyond the it goes point? past and is now a piece of detritus forever flying through space until it hits something that's really satisfying he pees no no <laughs> <laughs> Really in his space suit, in his space suit, takes care of it. Ah, <laughs> then he gets a nice drink of reclaimed, recycled water. Okay, I'll go to the, the east. east. What's that? I'll go to the east. Well, I know grenades to the east. Are you heading to the east? We'll do we do we search the body yet? Have we done that? There, uh, there's nothing of note on the body. Some somebody did. Yeah. Uh, is it? Uh, do we recognize the name of the oh. plaque of the members? It was one of the. the was crumbles. it Captain? Yeah. That's what I wanted to know, though. Is it the captain? No. No, we're gonna find him last. Come on. Yeah, you're right. He's the boss. Right? Yeah. Uh, does anybody need? Did anybody take enough damage that they need a break? I don't think anybody took any damage. No. Okay. Good night, Jules. Yeah, We're not bad when we fight World of the Monster. That's nice. Yeah. Four <laughs> overpower. Two overpower. Uh, Nala, we need to reload the weapon if it needs to be used again. We do not want to lose precious time. Leave it unloaded. Let's move. Uh, I see. I start walking down the hall. I'm not turning around to see who follows me. I just walk. Who is he? Lisi is also walking. What? We need to uh, agree to give, to give or not to give. There's Where's no agreement. Weapon? She doesn't. She's a prisoner. She, she tried to kill us. Why would we give her Can more I... of an ability to kill Night us? Night uh, Night Jules. She Can has I... no allegiance against us. She has no allegiance for us. She could turn on us at any moment. Yes, but she could also be a uh, worthy She's a mercenary. Ally. And I'm willing to work for the price of my life. Until you get a better you offer. You, of all people, would understand. No. You're sorely mistaken. Let's go. And as he goes to get the grenade. Or, you know, go down the hall. Whichever is easier. I, ask, I say, where's the clip? Uh. I'm, I'm walking. I, if you guys are, if you guys are doing, this I, mean, you, you guys have a, the, I can't. Yeah, yeah. You guys have a collection of with laser pistols. Just give her a laser pistol. She at least use that with their hands on, and she can't cause that much damage with one before. She tried. I'd to like to limit her to only being able to take one shot at a time in case she turns on us. I, I think it just takes time to recharge. I don't think you have to like do anything. What the um, sniper? Because it's it's. I mean, it's it's the same twenty round battery twenty. Shot battery in all the weapons. I think the Sheeran is a projectile weapon. Oh. I think it's a. Um, oh, that's right. I was going to look at Tag Lash. <coughs> hey, there's binary load lifters. Is there? You see load well, there's load lifters. I don't know if they're binary. <clears throat> it's an artificial set of muscles that increases the amount of bulk you can carry while wearing your armor by three. What is it? Load lifter. Oh, here. <laughs> she has a picture here. Yeah, the nice thing about the sniper rifle, you have to use. Part? Aim as a move weapon and then fire it on the same turn if you want to get the full range on it. Otherwise, it fires as normal, so it slows you down. That's the armory book with one of the pictures. I don't. Somebody else asked. Oh, here it is. Uh, 1d10 piercing uses one round. It's analog, unwieldy. So yeah, it. I think it uses a standard. It's like a gunpowder type weapon. It is a projectile. <clears throat> projectile, thank you. Okay, so a tack lash, a tactical lash, or tack lash, as it's commonly called, is a length of nylon cord reinforced with carbon fibers. Uh, originally used as a form of crowd control, explorers and mercenaries came to appreciate the utility of the weapon. When the numbing tash lash, I don't have a numbing tack lash. Yes, yeah, so I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> oh, also, I forgot, it's on the. There's uh, no fraying weapons. Mm hmm. My, yeah. my tack lash is actually non lethal, so if I deliver the killing blow, somebody else has to actually finish it off. Would you do your knife, your, ta- your survival knife after the fact? Perfect. For your foot. See, I'm willing I'm with that. <laughs> Not much to look at after you scrape one off your boot. <laughs> Are you heading across the hall into the next room? Yes. Indeed. I have a grenade to go pick up. I'm not just going to leave my trash hanging around. Jeez. I mean, some kid could. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You wander into the room. The grenade has hit the other end of the wall, uh, but there's something else in the room with you. Mm. Another one of these things? No. Worse. Something worse. I'm at the ceiling again, just like before. Mm. To stop here so you can. Uh, all right. For the I marching order. I come to a cavern, I'm just going to like try to plow through as quickly as possible. I'll <laughs> yeah. slam against the far wall. 
I'll give you one more square in before you pause to see what's there. Who is behind Nala? I think we do the same as before. So we're going to put Clara 247, followed by Trigger, then Elise, then the Goblins. Unless, Mikey, you disagree. No, 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 that's fine. Just drop that, that uh, piece of pineapple or something? It's the core. Oh. <clears throat> I tried. I tell, I tell <laughs> 247, <laughs> not thanks for the cost. If I can trust anybody to eat that, it would be oh, you. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Uh, I have a picture in the other page. Hey, as well. It's right next to the grenade. All right. So this is that could be pretty reveal. I don't, do we all? I think I'm the only one who has access to the fusion detonator. A trigger probably could make it available to any of us. You scroll down, Bob. I'm just yeah. thinking if we have all our turns. The very bottom there. Whoa. Oh, that thing looks nastier than the other thing. Damn. So, uh, give me a mysticism check if you might give you more information. I've got mysticism. Is there anything you don't have? Jesus. I know. Yeah. Uh, actually, I used all my points to make sure I was trained in every single thing for second level. Um, Some better than others. I at least you rolls a 15 mysticism. Ooh. All right. Uh, 20. <laughs> Yeah. She's a mystic. It's in the fucking name of the yeah. class. No, she's not. She's a technomancer. No, Shut she's up, a technomancer. Shut up. She's a mystic. But I, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not singling you out for being bad. It's. It can't be fun for anybody else when his skills are light. Years. I think the operative is broken, and the fact that the operative skill set is higher than everybody else's skills for everything. You got a plus two. What's yeah. no no uh, plus two rank training. Plus so one operative. For every level of an operative, you get an extra plus there. Then it's an mm. operative skill, so that's plus three. And then it's a class skill, it's another plus three. Oh, okay. Our, it's our, based on wisdom. No our actual... Ma- oh, well, yeah. Zero or 14-ish. Our okay. actual like exactly. spellcaster has a plus one to mysticism. But that's not a, that's Yeah, so he's got a base plus nine. Just, I mean... Yeah, it just, it's... Uh, plus six. At second, second like... Base eight? plus six. Oh game. right, they, yeah. I feel like we should just make a group of operatives and see what happens next game. I, if, I would strongly think if you want to all dip one level operative and then go back to your original levels, think about that. The problem is, which, if you did an, imp- an operative with some kind of intelligence-based attack, or some yeah, so that you get more skill Excuse points me. per level. All right, so that's my problem is I have negative one. Yeah. So when a mortal humanoid dies within the drift while consumed with a strong negative emotion, it can become a drift dead. A restless undead spirit bound to that plane, unable to escape the confines of the drift and reach its final judgment. What's left of the drift dead's warped mind is filled with insanity, rage, and a hatred for the living. So overwhelming is this flux of emotions that a drift dead psychically broadcasts its confusion, affecting all who venture too close. It has a 30 foot aura of confusion, which we'll cover next step. Mm. Uh, a drift dead leaves its mortal remains behind and forms a new undead body out of the mingled, planar energies of the drift. So it still exists. You know, the good news is, according to the mystic, this should not exist here mm-hmm. because it is tied to the drift. Mm. So everybody go about your business. <laughs> Fear not. I think that she will disagree with you on that. Spring <laughs> forward, Burley Protector. All righty, back to here. I am assuming that is a she, that is long hair, but we are living in 2734, and eh, who can say? Okay, so the 30-foot radius includes all the way out to Clara. Including Clara? Including Clara. That's just what we need. So everybody make me a confusion check. It is a... Hold on a second. If it's Any creature that comes within 30 feet of the drift that must succeed on a DC 11 will save. Or be confused for two rounds. Once a creature has attempted this save, whether successful or not, it can't be affected again by the same drift that's or for 24 hours. What is it? 11? 11 for Will. 12. Go yes. succeeds. 18. 18. Uh, I'm going to roll for... Okay. Our Elise is not. Our Elise is fine. But she's not in the aura. Oh, well, if she was, she would have been fine. Uh, somebody roll for Clara. I Trigger. Can... <laughs> does, she, does the android... Mikey, can you roll for uh, Clara's will? They have souls. Uh, yeah, I can roll for Clara. Her will is plus 5, so you're going to have to be pretty bad. Uh, natural 18. That is perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, so, what does confusion do? What would have happened to us? 
Oh, well, other people are going to walk into that range. The only one left are um, Trigger and I, Elise. I think you'll be smart enough to keep the goblins not in combat. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, guys, stay here. But I, Elise. Keep, keep the androids safe back there. Safe, but unarmed. Uh, you need initiative rolls from us? Uh huh. I'm adding it right now. Everybody turn. Oh my gosh, I rolled terribly. I rolled a five. Natural one. Oh, I got some decent rolls here. What you got, man? Uh, Ozymandias has a 20. That is excellent. Ilysi has a 17. Trigger, what'd you get? Uh, hold on. I, uh, I was too busy reading the error message that I might be blue screen. Oh, oh, that's not good. Uh, natural 20, so 25. Well done. Yeah, my computer, my computer says your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. Oh, We're yeah. just collecting some error info, and then we'll restart for you. Mike, I have a silly question. If your PC is restarting, how are you talking to us? He's uh, on, my, on my personal computer. Yeah. I need to clear it yeah, in a check. I, I have two I have two laptops running at him. Clear it in a check. Di Discord. I couldn't install Discord on my work computer, so that's uh, my Microsoft Surface. Nice reflexes. Seven. <clears throat> my work computer was running Roll20, and now it's not running anything. That's annoying, man. I need to get the power adapter because my screen just got really light. <laughs> oh, you've been without power all this time. I mean, you know, I try to run the battery every once in a while. Otherwise, you know. It no, it's good. All the time. Yep. It remembers its charge or whatever. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't remember. I don't want to take a chance. Yep. So you guys all have holy water. Don't forget. That may be useful. Yes. An undead creature. Maybe thirsty. Oh. I, I, <laughs> I'd rather have a good blaster by my side than some hokey religion. <laughs> <laughs> Did you shoot first? I do not think you shot first. I'm a good guy. Why would I shoot first? Yes, that's what. That's sadly what I thought. Do you guys say cold, or is it just me? Just me. I wouldn't. I'm, I'm good. Okay, either way. But okay. either way, if you're cold, pop it up, man. No, because it takes it makes too much noise. Are you not using the uh, pellet stove this year? Or? We are. I, just, I turned it down when you guys got here. Oh. I put the, like, the, the curtain up there, and it makes this room get really hot, and then Jeff shuts down immediately. <laughs> shuts down even more. I already took my, my bath. I know. You, bath. Yeah, you are actually doing really well tonight. Huh? You didn't see me at 9. I did. No, we I saw. Did. You all did. You know, my feet aren't freezing, some. Okay. All right. Um, trigger. Trigger in the back. Um, well, I'm kind of out of the way. You could push up and then get a, you'll be up at the ceiling, maybe. Yeah. We're still at a movement of two. Yes. Okay. 15 foot ceiling. Well, it's 30 inside the cave, inside the cavern. Yeah. Right. So once you get out of the, in the corridor you're in right there, it's 15. Yeah. Although, which one is sugar? In the middle, behind Clara. Okay. I hate that. Like, I just clicked on it and you can't see that. There yeah. you go. Uh, Excuse me. Although Trigger, do you have an idea where you are right now? He You're he has not there. been affected by this because he is thirty five feet no, away. No, I mean like physically because his other laptop rebooted. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we lost him. You're, You're kind of in the middle of a corridor, Mike. Yes. No. No. So I, I did see where I was before it it, re it blue screened on me. Okay. Um. So while that's going at him, let me actually pull up roll twenty on my other computer here. Um. So yes, um, Josh, would I have been aware of what the other guys uh, experienced when they were in when they walked in the room? No. So it's very quick. No. No. Okay. So knowing that I wouldn't know that, I would think that I would do what I would normally do, and I would try to get in to engage in combat. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to ask Clara if she would throw me again. Yeah, Mikey, I just put the screenshot of the room on Discord. So if you have a machine that's still on Discord, you can see the uh, map. Ah, okay. Give me one second. I need to, check I need to check a rule here. 
Oh boy. I get nervous when he has to check rules. How do we want to handle this, guys? Let's let's do our talking while he's doing his checking. Same as last time. It's undead. Is there anything more we can do with undead? We've got holy water. We could turn it. We could heal it. Can't turn it. We could heal it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh mystical. Oh, do we don't have mm. any who does mystical? Here? No, you don't. Yeah, I'm not talking. About, I don't want to put a bandaid. On. Hey, we we could all just go backwards and go up the other corridor. He's got a point about that one. Oh, I think it's going to follow us. Forward with fire. Let's attack the one on the left first. There's only one. Well, that's the one we'll attack then. <laughs> all right, trigger. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm going to see if Clara can throw me in front of the group. Did we know any of its weaknesses from that mysticism check? Um, would you roll? 20? 75. You rolled enough to know that by leaving the drift, it is now incorporeal. And that means it doesn't have... Incorporeal? Incorporeal. Oh, uh, so how do we actually attack it? It doesn't have a physical body. It is immune to all non-magical kinetic attacks. All energy attacks and magical kinetic attacks deal half damage. Wow. Okay, this is going to be a big, challenging fight. Lasers. I, I'm gonna. I might as well. Just, I'm just gonna have to shoot it. Incorporeal creatures always target their enemies' energy armor class. Your tack lash does not have energy rating. Mm -mm. It's just a standard tack lash. Hmm. So. So I guess you would tell me that. I would assume. This thing, it is immune to normal weapons. Only energy weapons will hit it and at half effectiveness. All right, so... Half what? Okay, so... Effectiveness. I need, a, I need a roll for Clara to throw... Effectiveness. I need a throw for Clara to throw... What is the matter with you? What You're being attacked right Trigger. now. What are you asking me these questions for? What's effectiveness? It's very effective. Effective? Effectiveness. <laughs> All right, Clara. But you will not be common federation and absolute station. Clara, roll the 15. Where do you think you're going to end up, Mikey? <laughs> um, I'd, I'd like, like to end up uh, just, just one square north of Ozzy. Actually, I don't think that works. I don't. You, no, you're going straight oh, down. No, 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 you're right. That's too tight of a corridor from where. Uh, just right in front of Ozzy, I guess. You're gonna. Well, here's what's gonna happen. She's gonna throw you. Give me a D4 roll. D4. Effective means. Effective. Four. One, two, three. You're here. Next turn, you will continue and hit the wall. These? You turn to return to something. Okay. Because you have no way to stop. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, I'm, that's fair. He's a measure of efficiency. All right, so uh, you can still shoot, though. Okay. We'll shoot then. Uh, 17. Is a hit. That's good. It doesn't even have a body. Uh, like four, half of four is two. That is correct. Congratulations. Just give it twice as many hit points. I know. I should just give it twice as many hit points. Instead of having to do... Well, no, because rounding will matter. No, I shouldn't. So, all right. Uh, trigger went uh, Ozzy. Um, Ozzy is going to... Oh, come on. Use the big cannon. Step oh. forward one. You got the artillery cannon. <coughs> he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna, he's, he's gotta, he's gotta, he corners and doors. So he's gotta step forward to clear, clear room for people to get in. So he's gonna step under. Well, yeah, you're, that works. you're in zero G. So are you pushing oh. off the I'm ground? I'm just shuffling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna giving you the last the... time everybody went up in the air, I'm gonna stay on the ground. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull my azimuth artillery laser. I, Okay, you're gonna be nice about that, huh? Yes. Okay. I don't want I don't want it to drag out forever. All right. And I want everybody to be involved because otherwise you're just gonna bottleneck up in the door. You can still push off the floor and then just fourteen. Fourteen EAC. Fourteen EAC is a hit. Mm. Well, my big D10. Oh, this is good. We like this. And I got a four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't tell you that it takes half damage and all those things. I I should have. Your, your weapon is less effective than you expected it to be. Oh, so is two. <laughs> <laughs> there, now we've learned it faster. Uh oh, now the bad guy's up. It's fire damage. Yeah. I was going to say, I could go up there and take all the hits, but there's no point. 
I can't keep it from attacking you guys. I agree. Even if I get an opportunity attack out against it, it doesn't matter. Yep. This is such a lame attack. He's disappointed. Yeah, he's moving up. He moves up to attack Ozzy. Sure. Thanks I think I'm just going to get opportunity attacks. Thanks for oh. Uh, 15. Um, and that's E. Miss. Yes. All right. There's no electric hand-to-hand weapon that we have access to, is there? Not except for time. the except for the gun you picked up, the Arc emitter that has but, 12 charges still in it. But it doesn't matter. It's still your your weapon is better than the Arc emitter, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm a one D. I'm rolling one D ten. Yeah. I I, I at least will just advance one and wait. Delay. She can't shoot from there. No, she can't shoot from there. She can't jump and shoot. She can't push off and get to the fifteen foot ceiling. I don't. I don't think she. There's. There's a lot of shit in the way if you look. But that's all minus two, right? That's all just concealment. I mean, uh, cover. Well, she could. Um, she could uh, match missile. No, she already used two of those. Oh. Does she have none left. I don't know how many she has. Is it a humanoid creature? Eh, sorta. It's, you you don't, you don't, you're not gonna need her. If, if you need her, we'll come back to her. So she could stun it. Uh, this does no, no. It's, it's CR's higher than that. It's not. It's not a human. It's not alive. Does daily only affects the other? What's well, humanoid? Right, but it's not. It doesn't affect the other. Uh, does Clara have a weapon or not? Oh, Clara actually acted. She's pushed Mikey. Yeah. So Nala. We, Nala. Nala. Or no. Oh, sorry. I tell everybody, focus, focus on that one. That's good. And let's get him. And I take my, uh, as a free action, I take my extra azimuth laser, and I hand it to uh, Clara. Clara. Mm-hmm. And I'll take a shot. Okay, you're minus two. It's definitely got cover. It's from Ozzy. Natural five. That was my attack against Adam, so it worked just fine. Um, Ghost, you're up. Uh, Ghost is Adam, going stay to uh, push off from the ceiling, and he's going to float kind of almost above Ozzy. So he's got perfect line of sight on the creature, however much that is. I'm going to move you here. But we'll say he's above Just Ozzy. for the sake of... I'll put you here, actually. It's closer. Okay. Just for the sake of clarity. Okay. Um, um, so are you you're angling yourself to the ceiling? Yes. So you have to catch yourself on the ceiling first. Okay. I've rolled acrobatics all day, so I'm due for a bad roll. No, you're not going to roll. They're capable of that roll. 27. Yeah, yeah. Natural, 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 natural That's a terrible roll. That is so a bad roll. roll. Latch on to the ceiling. Three. And that's my move. Uh, I need to ask about... Causing the the shk, shk of the helmet of my spacesuit, does that a swift action, or is that a move action in your opinion? What does shk, does shk, does he wants to open it. To the, the... Open up my spacesuit. Open myself up to space. To the vacuum. To the vacuum. Um. Oh, I guess the first question I actually have is that I think about it is catching yourself a full action. Probably. Probably. Uh. Oh, I That's thought it might part. have been a move action, but maybe it's maybe it's. I don't a, know. That's what I'm asking. Um, I'd say it's part of your move. Um, we'll give Bob a second to look it up. Yep. Uh, it's back in zero G. Uh, goes, the, the goblins aren't going to do anything on their turn, so trigger be ready next. Have trigger go. I'll look it up and get back to you. But what if you killed it somehow? I don't think I'm going to kill mm-hmm. it. Oh, I thought it was here. Four twenty, right? Uh, oh no, 402. 402. 416. 408. 401. Zero gravity. You push off. You keep moving in the direction you continue, and you must move full distance, latching onto an object or creature. If you run into a solid object during movement, you must succeed on a DC 20 acrobatics or athletics check. To stop the movement, failure means you are off kilter. Um, it doesn't tell you other. It doesn't tell you. It you're both run into each other. You're it, anchored. It wouldn't tell you you're off kilter if it wasn't if you still didn't have your move or your action. You know what I mean? Like, 
Well, you'd be up, you'd you'd up, up for, for, that, for that. All right, just just make your you, 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 do your action. Yeah. All right. Uh, he, you may remember back in that CD Diamonds store, he had a genetic implant added to his throat. Oh. It is a dragonling gland. He's going to cause the helmet to open up into space. This may be damaging to him. He cannot breathe. Should be fine. He's going to open his mouth, and electricity will zoom out from his mouth, enveloping the creature, zapping it, hopefully. 3d6, and they got a reflex check for half? I think that's what it is. Uh, is, is there a... Oh, it's automatic? There's no hit. 15-foot cone... Uh, yeah. And your angle is so it doesn't hit me? Correct. Thanks, Jeff. Yes. I mean, Bob. <laughs> uh, reflex save Sorry. is DC 10 plus half my level, plus my constitution modifier. I have no con modifier. I have level 2. 17. So it's going to be 11. So you saved. 3d6 damage. Half of this. 14 divided by... Oh, it was a good roll. Uh, 7 points of electricity. Right, so by the way, and I still only take half of that. <laughs> yes. Half and half. Half and half. So that's 3 and a half. Routed down. So a 14 roll turns into three points of So this is like my $50 arcade cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, what damage do I take for opening myself up to space? If you close it. One. Okay. That's me. My turn's over. Ghost is done. The goblins are, are, are protecting the rear. Trigger. Oh, to um, I, I guess, guess I, I don't do. Don't, don't I keep, keep moving until I hit the wall? wall? That is correct. So you need to make an uh, a check to see if you if you fail the check, that would be your turn, and you'd be on oh, off kilter. No, you're off kilter, but then I think you still lose your legs. Either whichever one's better, but you have a DC twenty. You got to beat a twenty, e equal or beat a twenty. I don't. I do I not beat a twenty. So you are off kilter, which means um, right. off kilter means you have a minus two on attacks and skill rolls. Sure, I think. Thing. Confirming now. I'm missing my sheets here somewhere. Page two seventy six. It's too hard for me to maneuver everything with my. I know. <laughs> Even there's so much. You cannot take move tools. actions except to right yourself. You take a minus two penalty to attacks, and you are flat-footed. <laughs> yeah. Flat-footed means... Start a combat, you're surprised. You're flat-footed. Minus two to AC, and can't take reactions. Mm -hmm. But I thought Yusoki had something about off-kilter. All right, so you're minus two to hit right now. Minus two to hit, minus okay. two to AC. Yes. And then you have to. All right, we'll, we'll try to hit it anyway. We'll try to hit it anyway as I'm floating by. Oh, uh, here it is. When you are off kilter as a Yasoki, you do not take the normal penalties to attacks, and you do not gain the flat footed action. So off kilter as a Yasoki is pointless. Uh, well, he can't. He still can't take a move action. He still has to right himself. As, as, as he still has to right himself. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so that's good. Uh, okay. Yasoki. So. I, I shoot, shoot him with, with my laser, laser pistol, uh, and I roll a 20. 20. I got, I'm thinking that's going to be a hit. And I got, got another four points of damage, damage so, so I guess that's, that's another two. two. Is that a natural right. 20, Mike, or you added up to 20? No, no added up, up, oh, sorry, added up, up to 20. 20. Okay. So I blasted him with 14 electricity. He took three. He hit him with an azimuth pistol for four, it and it took two. two. Wow. Yours is way cooler, though. Yeah, I guess it maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have rolled better. All right, Ozzy, you're up. Uh, Ozzy, while, I was do, while I was doing cartwheels through the air, I, uh, as I was upside down, in my rotation, I fire, hitting for two points of damage. I mean, let's make it sound good. At least. That's good. Yasoki were born for space, that's for sure. Uh, do I fight defensively, or do I just try and hit it? Um, I say try to hit it. Yeah. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm in range of if it wants to take an opportunity to attack against me because I'm going to fire out with my laser cannon. It will. Oh. Hmm. I, I, I'm so busy trying to defend against the incoming, the attack that I know is incoming. I, I just shoot the fucking ceiling. 19? Yeah, it's a hit. Another one for freaking, I rolled like 
four ones on D6s is like five damage. It doesn't have any special side effects or anything? It just nope. does damage? I have soul. I have Drift Rip, which is a ranged attack, 1D4 plus 2. Hmm. And then I have uh, Melee Claw or Incorporeal Claw hmm. at plus 10, 1D6 plus 4. I am just going to go total defense. Yeah. I know I've got the best damage capability. As long as you keep but it busy. But every time I shoot it, if I'm going to take some damage, there's no point. I'll just say, hopefully it'll attack me. I'll chase it around. <laughs> you still got the holy water, right? Oh, I don't remember. Everybody's got All right, one. All right, so it, it chooses to attack Ozzy, Ozzy again. Ozzy. Natural one. Done. Shit, I should have re-rolled. I at least see... I have a Benny I have to burn. Oh, you're up four right now? Yeah. Holy water. It'll do 1d6 without reducing the damage. Will it? It's not undead. Oh, I thought it was undead. Uh, it is undead, but it doesn't. It does not say a vulnerability. Well, all undead are vulnerable to holy water. I thought that was the standard. Maybe not. Not in space. Let's find out. You can look it up. I'm gonna throw it at it, and then we'll see what Josh says. Even though he just said it's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can look it up if you want to dispute me. Oh, okay. uh, I Elise's turn. Is she? Can she fire? Uh, I'm looking right now. Yeah, she can fire. All right, she's gonna fire her as minus a minus two. Pistol. Uh, 14. Yes, EAC is a hit. Oh, hey, nice. She does two, which becomes a one. Please tell me this thing has like seven hit points. Left? Uh, either way. <laughs> You're not quite down to seven. All right, at least he went Clara. She takes the pistol from Nala. Shoots Nala in the back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Aims at the creature. Hits. One damage. Wow. I rolled a one. It's a minimum of one, right? Yes. Uh, Nala. So now I have a clear view. Yes. I'll fire. I'll say get him. Fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ten. Is a miss. All right. Ghost. Uh, hmm. I haven't found out the answer on the holy water yet, but I am curious. I'm still anchored to the wall. Now's the perfect time while I'm not floating. So he takes the uh, holy water container and throws it at the creature. He still got a hit. Still got a hit. Uh, imagine that's uh, just a. Agility, I mean a Dex attack. Yes. So, just like the Azimuth Blast, not a full attack. Not a trick attack. Uh, rolled a natural two, seven. So your water, your holy water splashes on the ground. Yes. <laughs> uh, the goblins keep the rear. Back to trigger. Excuse me. Could activate. Could activate. Trigger. Trigger. It's a physical attack. It's kinetic. All right. Time. Actually, the holy water would be too if it was. Mm. If, it, if you had to shatter, if it was like a Molotov cocktail with a glass, had to shatter against the body. If you took it out and like sprayed it. The trigger is gonna shoot, shoot him again. It's gonna, gonna, gonna get, get another, another 20. twenty. Where did it shatter though? Oh, in the floor. In the mist. A little bit seven. Yeah, but it was. Uh, like he does one and a half points of damage. damage. One and a half points of damage. All right. <laughs> so if you throw like a grenade, like it was supposed to splash, like hit him and break, it would just go right through. Which is what it, what you guys have made. Oh, I see your point. I see your point. Yes. Indeed. What is this? This is some tough stuff. <clears throat> what is this, this thing is made of? Fucking shit creature. Ozzy, you're up. Uh, Ozzy is gonna do. I know I said I was gonna attack, but I'm gonna I'm gonna attack one more time with my can uh, with my artillery laser. Thirteen. Uh, EAC is thirteen. Sorry, fourteen. There you go. Um, melee attack is twenty. That's a hit. So I have done four. I have done six damage to you. What have you done to me? Uh, sorry, six more or six total? Six, you six more. Oh. Did you roll one? I did. Plus four. You suck at that. <laughs> now I'm really not attacking again. Now it's going to attack me. <laughs> now it's going to attack you. Natural 14 is going to be a hit. Yeah. I will have more than a three. Ooh. Ten damage. Ooh. Ooh. 
I got you, boy. Wow. I lost all of my stamina. And it's, it's dinging my hit points a little bit. I at least he's up. Wake up, lazy puppy. I at least he shoots. Uh, yeah, it's going to hit. 20? Not yep. natural. That is a hit. If she does more than that, I'm going to laugh. Fucking one damage. <laughs> I mean, he's, you've got a 75% chance of doing one damage. I happen to roll uh, a one, uh, which is still one damage. You're right, a one, two, or three is technically all one damage. Yeah. <laughs> This is a crappy monster, I admit that. He's hard. I, it, the problem is it doesn't do anything to you. Well, if it did... Disagree. Maybe, it would All of my stamina disagrees. It gets yeah. plus four to whatever you roll. <laughs> That's huge. Yes, but it's 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 still not... It doesn't do it's, anything it's exciting. Boring. Yes. All right. Yes, I at least you went. Uh, Clara's up. Who wants to roll for Clara? What's Clara going to do? I'm not rolling for her. Clara's got her weapon. pistol. I'll roll... I rolled an 18 for Clara. All right. She did a plus eight, so that has a hit. Ooh. So she gets 1d4 plus two for her azimuth laser pistol. Oh, her class is. Okay. So she, she rolled a four. So she actually does three damage. So, so she, she does, does four damage. damage. No, four plus three is seven. That'd be three. Yeah, three damage. Seven divided by two, three point five round down sets us at. Now she can do a trick attack. Oh, she's an operative. Yeah, she should do that. Have you been doing a trick attack this whole time? I have. Can she do a trick attack with the pistol? Yes. So just add a D eight to it, Mikey. But she has to. What's that? She has to do something differently. She for a sneak attack, you have to roll either stealth or uh, whatever her specialty is. Is she a ghost? What type of um, operative is she? Does it say? No, just a female android operative. So. You have to choose. You can make it stealth, maybe, or dex. She, if she succeeds on a stealth check against the creature's CR, then she gets trick attack damage, and she gets a bonus. She uses stealth to make trick attacks with her laser pistol. There you go. So you'd have to roll a stealth check right now to see if she makes the trick attack. Go ahead, Mike. Give me a stealth check. Okay. Her stealth is plus 13. Uh, so 16. Plus 13 is 29. All right, so, so give, me the, give me add a D8 to the damage. Is the creature CR 9... Equal to no. nine or less. Yes. Okay. Less than nine. So just one D eight? Yes. Uh six. She gets better sneak attack damage than I do. <laughs> you should be an NPC. I'm one D four. She is a CR two, so you oh. should be about the same. No. I don't get one D eight until level three. Alright. Now is up. The creature is uh it's hard as hell, but the creature definitely appears to be slowing down a bit. Hmm. I'll say everybody, let's focus on getting that one. And then I heal, and I say, yeah, that'd be nice. uh, big guy, Ghost you can do it. Keep focusing on that one. Which one? Watch out for its attacks. <laughs> Which one? You get eight uh, skill points. No, Thank you. Hit stamina points? Stamina points, yeah. That is, and I'm at half stamina. Wow. This thing did a number on you. Yeah, it took down all my stamina and three hit points. But, I mean, it was basically getting two attacks around on me. Yeah. It's not going to do that anymore. Yeah. Uh, you have noted you have two Mark II healing serums, by the way, right? Oh, that's... yeah, I think I have that on here. Right, Ghost sure drop. You... Uh, I'm going to do trick attack. Uh, I only have one. I think I used one already. Oh, i got to click on myself first. Try again. All right, try again. Whoa, that's a hell of an error. Why? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Error? A boatload of errors here. Unless I... Let's try that again. Oh, that's trigger. That's why. There it is. Oh no, I don't succeed on my trick attack unless the CR is negative one. Which that is not. not the case. So I roll a standard attack instead, and oh. he's just out of the bag. Yeah, just, he, just is, the he is out too. Look at Eighteen that. against EAC. That is a hit for four points of damage, max damage. Oh, <gasps> he had two left. Four divided in half is two. I wanted to go, I wanted to, to hold my hold my artillery laser across me in defensive stance and go total defense because that's exciting as hell. <laughs> did my holy uh, water s s snatch? I think it did. Yes. All right. Smash against the rocks. Water. Are these, what was it contained in? Uh, we found uh, like containers in the cafeteria of the glass. Ampules. Something that breaks. I... Maybe maybe we synthesized glass. Probably glasses. 
then when sure. he engineered something to cover up the open end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. All right. Why does he keep saying words? <laughs> uh, re- you reclaim your uh, grenade? Yeah. Nice. Throw it up the hall. <laughs> Actually, don't. I should probably take a full rest. Yeah, you still got resolve. Well, how many resolve? I, I, have, I have all my resolve. Oh, do it. Do it. You mean not a full rest of resolve? You're using resolve. Yeah. Ten minute. Ten minute break. I'll take a ten minute break and restore my dragon breath thing. Is your re- is that what it is a ten minute or do you need a day? Uh, I think it's ten minutes, but I just need to see if I need to spend a resolve as well to get that back, or if it just comes back after ten. So I at least will take ten minutes. Also, let somebody else cover so that she can recharge her uh, magic missile. Don't worry, guys. We'll take we'll take watch. Uh, uh, this is good for you to know too. You can spend ten minutes, regain it back. Well, it's um, or resolve point, right? Or you can spend a resolve point at any point to recharge it immediately. Which would let you use it multiple times in combat. Those resolve points are pretty valuable. Uh, but that, but you don't. Now Josh is figuring out how we can drain our resolve points. No, because <laughs> if you die, if like you're negative, the only thing that's going to get you back up really is going to be resolve points. Yeah. Like it's it, not the only thing. Well, so maybe it's a surefire thing. Somebody's got to come to you, and then or you've got to roll twenty on your saving throw. No, there's no saving throw. Yeah, there is. There's death saves. Is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll find out All when right. we get there. So it is 11 o'clock. Mm. If we press through, I think we can finish a drift rock. You but go it's going to be late night. 20 more minutes? See. You, you won't finish in 20 minutes. I'll leave it to you guys. I'm game for a little bit more. I'm game for a little more, too. All right. You game? I got to leave the house at 5 tomorrow for Dallas, and I am still game. <laughs> I mean, it's late well, here, so I mean... But I'll go with whatever you guys want to do. Thanks for biting that bullet for us, Mike. <laughs> That's a sacrifice, Mikey. Thank you. He's missing out on Mike's prime will, time programming. I was going to say, Mike's willing to go to like 9.30. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, there's like two encounters left. I'm hand-waving them because they don't add anything to the adventure. Okay. So we're going to move call. through. We don't need to grind through combat anymore. I think we've had enough combat grinding tonight. Uh, can, we, can we just kind of talk through this kind of creature attack you? Yes. I can tell you exactly what happens and how you dispatch oh, them. Oh, and uh, after last combat, Ozzy... As he uh, you know, looks right over at uh, Clara, just walks over to her, shakes his head, and holds out his hand. Give me the pistol. He doesn't try. He doesn't look threatening. He doesn't try to attack her. Just, just give me the pistol. <laughs> and she looks. She looks at uh, at Ghost like, really. Ghost shrugs and shakes his head and rolls his eyes. Make the lizard happy. We will give you another weapon. Don't worry. That's what I'm afraid of. All right. She you, saved your butt. You move down to the the court. The the. Uh, zoom us out, Bob, or follow along, or chamber below. Oh. Move down to the chamber below. Yeah. Uh, two passages <clears throat> exit this cavern: one to the northeast and one to the northwest. An incongruous door, more akin to what one would expect to find in a space station, stands in the south. Oh. So we're going to go north, right? <laughs> uh, if this was video game, absolutely. Yes. I would hold off because the boss is behind the space station door. Yes. But since it's not a video game, I guess we do the door. I guess we do the door. It's the only door. It's the only one we have left. You have, you have left. We didn't connect the tunnel north. No, there was this northern tunnel up here we were wondering about. The southern tunnel, you mean? No, the northern one. What, what, what are you talking about? Up here, It's buddy. behind the mic. You can't see it. See? Look on your screen. It's that doesn't go anywhere. Door. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. That goes that, that that goes out the space as well. Oh, that goes to space. Okay. It's convenient. Once we get inside this irregularly shaped rock, everything is it's in a perfect square. Well, perfect rectangle. <laughs> All right, do nice you open the door? Three corners. Yeah, Ozzy opens. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Ozzy puts his hand on the door. <clears throat> Waits. Perhaps we should check for traps. Perhaps the engineer trigger should take a look at this as well. Uh, I I will check for traps for starters. Okay. There are two kinds of traps. There's mystical, magical, and then there's mechanical. I was going to say, I at least can look for the mystical traps, but you could probably find those better than her. Anyway. Have a, I at least see. No, by all means, please. Is it a mysticism check to check for, to check for mystical traps? I will support her. I will uh, aid her. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm trying to bust balls. Uh, you get a plus two. You get a plus two in your roll. Oh. 18, 19. You got my plus two? With your, with your plus two. 
No mystical traps? There are, I should note that there are two more um, Akrian um, dead here. Mm. Dead from the Akrian. This is the, the encounter I'm skipping, that's all. I think that's four total. Yeah. The Akrian, is that everybody? I think uh, so. Crew complement is six. You, you haven't killed, seen the captain yet. You killed some on the other side too, though. Yeah. So, um, Mystical traps? Or magical traps? What she, roll? she rolled a 19. No. Okay. Uh, Trigger, do you want to check for engineering for mechanical traps? Yes, I can do an engineering track. Here is a here is a screwdriver. Plus two to your check. <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> is it Sonic? It is Sonic. So, 15, 17, 28. Jesus. Claire walks over to the, the dead zombie body, pulls off the azimuth laser rifle and the needler pistol, and throws them at Ozzy. Oh, the needler <laughs> pistol. Yes. Ooh. Um, sure. Who, everybody, give me, every, every, anybody but Claire. Everybody, give me a perception check. That's for healing. Eight. Four. Natural one. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, snap! We got a match. Three. Okay. Sixteen is our match. Is our highest. Correct. Okay. okay. No, nobody perceives anything. Gotcha. What about uh, the check for traps from? Um, There's no traps. Trigger. Okay. Uh, I'll take the needler. Uh, who else has the needler pistol? <sighs> Sorry, I'm, just, I'm waiting to get attacked. <laughs> I have a need. I have a needler pistol. I'll take a second one and load a healing mark two in it. Uh, healing mark one in it, so I can heal at range. I at least will take one. Oh, give. Yeah, I at okay. least is a great choice. All right. She's got some. He- Healing, I think already. Mm, no, but yeah, she, I think almost everybody's got healing mark. Oh, a potion, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you missed Clara po- pocketing a cred stick. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Better that than a weapon. All right, you open the door. I open yes. the door. I open the door. I was going to go out and say tack lash at the ready. Scroll down, Bob. Yep, scrolling down. Oh, it's Metroid. It reveals uh, it's constructed in stark contrast to the caverns elsewhere inside the drift rock this chamber when you get there looks more like a room on a space station or starship rather than the unfinished rock of the asteroid the walls floor and ceiling are clad with finished sheets of some polished metallic substance along with components of unrecognizable equipment oh can I tell if there's an atmosphere can we tell if there's an atmosphere in here Oh, that's good too. There is. Ooh. <clears throat> I o- I open my space helmet. Wait, let's close the hatch first. Yes, you have to seal the hatch. Well, we should probably. Oh yes, yes. Hatch. I I assumed we sealed the hatch. Oh, okay. So yes, this once is, that's sealed. This is utterly amazing. Look at this. I can't believe that four members of the Acreon could build such an amazing uh, facility so quickly. Those are just. I'm pretty sure they didn't them. build. <laughs> that heart travel collective is quite amazing in their engineering. Oh, lizard man. Oh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, the, 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 the trigger, trigger says the ghost. Is, is Ozzy's intelligence still a three? <laughs> I have an eight intelligence. I'll have you know I am almost as smart as half the people in this, in this universe. <laughs> <laughs> or galaxy, at least. You are half as smart as everybody in the galaxy, yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, we, if we suck so bad, Sheldon, then how can we beat you in football almost half the time? <laughs> uh, All right, so we've got an atmosphere, Josh. <clears throat> Correct. Left. Okay, so we can we can uh, we can uh, DC our helmets. Yes, you can okay. open your helmets. Yep, I'm definitely. And DC there's gravity. Helmet. And gravity. Excellent. Fantastic. Clara, you can, Clara, you can take your helmet off now. I'm stepping out and back in. Out and back in. Well, it's like you're stepping out and like floating back in. It's stepping out and floating back <laughs> but in. But then falling to the ground immediately. All right, you're going left or right It's like, it's like if you're in a portal and just go... Uh, can we do like a check on the technology? You said there's computer banks? They're stuff? not... not in the, that's, oh. I started reading the next section. Oh, I see. Okay. So. Oh, well, we go to the intersection. We look left and right. What do we see? Hey, I, I have a quick question. Is there any way to lighten up the view that I have in Roll20? To make the map lighter, make your or is it, or is it just really dark? I think it's just you. 
think it's just your screen. It's pretty visible to us, man. Is your screen on like battery save mode or anything? No, it's plugged in. Huh. Can you increase just, brightness? I, I, I increased brightness on my on on the desktop itself, but that didn't affect roll twenty. That's curious. That's interesting. I you could to... try to remove fog of war multiple times. Sometimes I've seen fog of war layers. So like if you reveal again and again and again, sometimes yeah. But I mean, you you guys are seeing it perfectly bright here. Yeah. So it's I, worth a shot. Just I just tried. Oh, okay. Sorry. I tried to turn up the brightness on my TV one time, but the programming was still really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, maybe it's just, all right, don't worry. Just keep going. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. All right. Wait, Jeff up. We're almost there. <coughs> Left to right. Uh, we're going uh, to the right. To Lola, the right. get down. Huh? Is there any food still out? I don't think so, but we'll get it. Okay. Oh, the cat. Just like trying to just lick off the, the, top, the bar top. All right. You're not allowed up there. Get down. Round in the corner. Much better. Thank Sh you. Uh, let's go the other way. Let's see what's in the other direction. Expand them both. Aha! This looks interesting. We have stuff. Left to right now. What's there? <clears throat> what is that? All right, so... Um, you were in... They give me... A, a, the map is so hard to follow here because of the way it's set up. Um, this appears to be um, some sort of control room. There are various lights and controls on the machinery in this room that provide some dim light. The chamber seems torn between two worlds. Its southeastern half is an unfinished rock wall, while the northeastern portion of the room is finished with the same ceramic uh, tile. Oh, oh, uh, are there lights in here? Sorry, I just, it looks like there's like floor lighting. If you zoom up, I'll ever, ever view more of the room. Um, uh, is there a terminal I can plug in? Uh, you can. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, give me a, a, a computer's check. But you only have a 1996 Mac, so it's guaranteed to be able to interface with, you know. A <laughs> complex control panel is built into the north wall that may allow the PCs to learn more. 27. Uh, I'll give you uh, assistance. I don't know if I can give you a plus two on that amazing check, but I'll give it a shot. It's okay. He needed a DC 25 check and three full actions. Ooh. That's what I, it's, it's not three checks. It's just like we just sit around for three rounds. Yeah. yeah. Or we could just sit around for like five or ten minutes and let him get a 20. Oh, take 20. Yeah, because there's take 10 and take 20. Yeah. So you, you're able to get access to the, the programming of the system, but you can't make heads or tails out of it. It's a language you don't, you don't, you don't, you've never seen before. Okay, can I attempt to download any of the code and programming to my actual part? If anybody wants to make a culture check, they can see if they understand any of the code. Wait a minute. Any, I, of, the, any of the words. I, Elise, has comprehend languages. She does. Have her cast that. I cast comprehend languages. Wow, this is really cool. Yeah. She casts it on herself, though. She doesn't cast it on any of you mugs. So the equipment in the room is designed to operate minor subsystems of some larger structure or device. Guys, oh. this this the equipment in this room is designed to operate minor subsystems of a larger system or device. Uh, the exact nature of the missing structure remains a mystery, though... Uh, References to systems such as backup power transmission, maneuvering thrusters, and auxiliary fire control hint that it may have been some sort of a space-based weapon system. And if they sh Whoa, if they it's the Death Star! The data <laughs> reveals that these systems in the control room itself are incredibly ancient. It is a weapon! Possibly even millions of years old. Millions of years! In fact, it appears that the drift rock is not just an asteroid, but was repurposed as a control center but that it was part of a larger structure that was designed and artificially constructed at the same time as the machinery and controls here. Wow. We shall, you know what we can call this rock? This is the big gun. That is what this is. Big gun. So you have found the secret of the drift rock. Whoa. So That means we can leave, right? Gosh, I... I'm going to take out my iPhone and I'm going to download everything to it. <laughs> Personal comms unit. Because my iPhone probably, they're, since this is millions of years old. They're not, they're not compatible. <laughs> if it's an iPhone, you'd have to you have to plug into a Mac that's running um, iTunes. Yeah. To be able to so I'm going to take out my just Google works. phone, which is compatible with everything. It just works. No, Sometimes. seriously, is there? Can I download any of this to my uh, exocortex? You can, you can record some of the information. You'll be able, you'll want to share it with Chiskix. The um, yeah, ro ro Robo um, 
Cosell is recording it all as well. If everything you're learning and talking about, as I at least is describing it to you, you're not sure if, okay. if you're not sure what Grevelar nor is sharing with everybody else, but it is in theory being broadcast back. So okay, we okay. Have I am, go uh, I'm going to download as much as I can and to bring back. So we found the big gun, Robo Cosell. So now send the ship so we can get off the rock. This isn't the big gun. This is the backup control system for the big gun. Who cares? We found your thing. Get us a, get us a ride <laughs> home it, it, now. There's another doorway here we should go through. And there's a whole section off to the other side, too. I'd go to the other way first. And is that Let's go the other way first. <laughs> right. I think we should come back to this door later and make sure nothing you, is you backtrack, behind us. You uh Get down this long hallway here. Uh, panels on some of the walls flash with lights and mysterious symbols, and an almost infrasonic hum of unseen machinery pulses through the walls. A, a robot begins walking down the hall towards you. You recognize that it is probably a security robot. Clara, stop pretending your robot impression. You dance very well. You can stop that now. And uh, if you go back, uh, I will be the NPC's tab. That is not Clara. And right in the middle there, Bob, next, ne next to Clara, Ooh. the creature, it is a security robot. It makes it halfway down the hallway. It has been functioning for millions of years, and it actually starts to fall apart as it walks down the, walks down the hallway toward you. Wow. Oh, luck. Just our luck. Very lucky. Or it was just sitting there not moving, and when it finally started mm -hmm. to move, it fell. Yes. We're both out. So. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I like the way you integrated that. It was. I was just. I'm just making the encounter go quicker. Does it yeah. have any weapons? Search. Search the creature. Any uh, data banks or anything? Yeah. Uh, anything interesting? It's memory, but it says compact in it, so you don't work with anything. <laughs> what's What's the SD on that? Like 16 bytes. Well, it's millions of years ago, so it might be eight bytes. <laughs> right. Bytes. <laughs> Where's the? Let me find the. Is it scuzzy? <laughs> oh God. Damage security robot. It has an inter ancient integrative tactical arc emitter. Really? So yeah, but it's it's one d four plus four. It's integrated. Yes. Plus four. Can we can we use it? Oh, it's a base plus four. That is useful actually. That's huge. I agree. Yes, yeah, you can't get it out. That means you do five. Drat. Even with our amazing engineer. If you did, you would damage it irreparably. It's not designed to interface with your with your power supplies. Ah. It uses a different kind of power system. Okay. There is a door at the top that you can't see because you haven't scrolled high. <coughs> well, uh, none, of, none of these appear to be uh, terminals or anything. There, there are all kinds of all different kinds of interfaces. There, nothing provides you with information you don't already have. Hmm. Okay. So. Um, we haven't found the captain. Uh, excuse me. We haven't found whatever the boss is. Mm, yeah. You opening the door? Uh, I, scan for traps first. If you if you want to roll, we can. You, you, don't, you find no traps. All right. Same order as before. Ozzy first. Go Ozzy second. First. All right. You open the door. Inside. Keep the prisoners safe. Uh, we find the right room here. Um, the, the, the room is barricaded from the inside. You, you have to actually break down the door somewhat. Uh, and there's a, uh, it's good a, that I'm big and strong. a dead body in here, and you recognize it as um, the captain of the Acreon? No, the captain. The the there's some vague similarities to the drift dead you fought earlier. The one with the long black hair. Yes. Oh, it's like this the, is the body of the person that created it. So that person died and became the drift dead. Right. They must have died while in the drift. Yeah. But why were they barricaded? Inspect the body. Can we determine cause of death? Uh, you cannot determine the cause of death. She she killed herself actually. Um, there's a there's a, a round to her skull. Uh, That'll do it. So she shot her. So there must yes. be a weapon next to her. There's well. your problem. Yes. You you search oh, her. She way. is wearing an uh, an S Tech suit one with a brown force field. Brown. The, the fire suit battery is depleted. The body also carries two spell amps of lesser restoration. And a personal a personal data pad. Well, let's look through the last few entries of the data and an log. empty static arc pistol. Two ampules of lesser restoration. Yes. And a arc pistol. That is static empty. arc pistol. Static arc pistol. That's that's one of the things we already have that, that fires on a cone, right? Right. Shoots electricity only. 
We got extra batteries. We can jack one from one of the azimuths and throw it in here. <clears throat> and then a data pad, you said? Yes. Is the data pad operational? The data pad, you can, it, the battery's dead on it, but you're able to charge it up. It's it's an older model, and you'd guess it's I can, I can I can charge it from my uh, suit. I at least you can transfer battery to it. Yeah. There you go. We've got you, options. Uh, you guess it's about 75 years old. Uh, everybody give me a culture check quick. Sure. I'm going to make this in 25 minutes. 29. Roll the natural 20. Okay, Jules isn't trained in culture, but six. she has ranks in culture. I rolled the natural 20. Oh, I think that means she's actually trained. I rolled a 14, but it doesn't matter. All right. Uh, 16. All right. So you, you find the, the captain's log on there. Oh, man, um, that's disgusting. <laughs> Why do people do that? It is horrible. You got to put it out somewhere in space. It's not very respectful. Please recycle that sheet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I meant to have Amy record this, but I never got a chance. So oh, I'll have man. to improvise it. You're going to get Amy to do the Andrea? I was. <laughs> if you go to the bottom left of this page. I, I don't understand why you didn't have time to do it, Josh. So the, the, the data pad holds up uh, a, 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 uh, a hologram of the captain. It's not bad looking. She identifies herself as Mordeca Nash. From the Sunrise Maiden, everybody who made a culture check of a 20 or plus recognizes the, the Sunrise Maiden disappeared about 75 years ago in the drift. Mm. Um, so the drift is not without its uh, dangers, I see. Yes. So they'll tell you that. So she goes on to talk about how 75 years ago she stumbled on this cave. What she thought was a, was a cave. Her ship is, is, is docked here. Um, oh. Oh, we have a way out. <laughs> Uh, she began exploring chambers and was attacked by a terrifying monster that seemed to consume life energy and could walk through walls. Is that really useful? Wounded and unable to escape, she modified her armor's force field to extend to a bubble around her, and she hid out here. Um, her last recording, I think I've come to terms with it. I won't survive, but at least I've explored strange worlds and seen wonders I would never have dreamed of as a child. I guess everything comes, in an, in, comes to an end eventually. I've always been the master of my own fate, and I'm not going to change now. Captain Nash holds up a pistol. When my force field goes down, I'll fight. But I'm saving my last charge for myself. My life, my death. This is my last will and testament. To whoever finds this recording, I leave the Sunrise Maiden to you. It's a <laughs> Yes, we got a ship. Did you hear that robo Wait, 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 wait. It's a good ship. Oh, and no matter where I've gone. 75 year old ship. It's a good junker. It's, it's a good model. It's always a brought me home until now. If you treat it right, it'll do the same for you. That sounds like code for it's a piece of garbage. <laughs> Leave, actually, it's pretty nice. Leave my body where you found it. We came from the stars, and to the stars I'll return. But the maiden deserves to keep flying. Nash takes a deep breath and ends the recording. Whoa. That I think terrible. we should forward this message to the next of kin. She gave us the ship by this and requested her body remain here. Oh, it just may open up lawsuits. You guys have. Uh, there is, it seems pretty clear. We'll, to me we'll just take the data pad with us, and we'll pass that information along to those people that might be able to find out her next of kin. But in the meantime, we'll take the ship. Uh, <laughs> there is a problem. What's that? She said she was being attacked by something that could go through walls. It was not a creature that we killed. Oh boy! Uh, actually, that was well, your her. creature, your creature was able to go incorporeal. I know, but it was her. She, she. Created... Yeah, but the creature before. Oh, well. Uh, there is another creature, I think. Always two. There are. No, wait. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> okay. If you go the other way, you'll find the, the where the starship is. Uh, wait. Uh, before we do. Uh, so she's got a spacesuit with a brown force field, and I, I was looking through the book. Brown force field, like it goes around you, and then like you get five damage reduction points. Whatever attacks you, you, you just reduce the damage by five. Is that an add-on? It is, uh, I think it is an add-on. I think Brown's Force Field is an upgrade to your suit. So this is a big deal. Whoa. So a couple of things out of this. She had that Force Field on, the creature still killed her. So it can do more than five damage consistently. And... We should spend a moment and put that on your suit. Yeah, I think I, I can. I take out the 
the quick release thing because I only have one weapon mod. I, think, I would much rather have that. I think mm -hmm. Trigger can do this thing, but it has no battery. So we will need Ayalisi mm -hmm. to put charge into it. I think perhaps we should just get the module out and carry it with us and do the repairs when we get back to civilization. I think we should... Or in the new ship. Turn it on now so that you cannot get killed when we fight the creature she is talking about. I'll be fine. No, really, he can do it. No, 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 we're, we're not going to fight that creature. We're going to go get to the ship right now. Who do you think? Oh, have you uh, not seen a horror movie? Do you not know no. how this works? I don't like horror movies. No, I will tell you, because usually I am the horror. You will go out, you will get attacked. You, you, are, you are the one who knocks. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it only takes... Trigger is very fast. He's very fast. He can probably install this on your armor, and then at least he can shift the, the transfer of the, of the energy, and you can have a functioning upgrade. I suppose, do we have rights to this armor and module by by rights of salvage? Who yeah. gives a crap? Every, every, everything you found was, was allowed to be yours. I don't give a crap. If you are alive, then I am better chances so of being alive. make sure to leave this body here as was requested. Fine. I don't want a body. I didn't think you did. Yes. <laughs> I don't think any of us wants a body. Who else is going to take the other arc emitter? And does somebody now want a quick release weapon mod for their, we for their armor? I have no need. That's right. You've got a cheap pouch. <laughs> I, I'll take. I'll, t I'll take it so we can sell it later and buy better guns. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay, so that we need some engineering awesome. checks. I think uh, trigger if you're going to do that. Yep. I can try to help you with that. <laughs> What's the DC on an, on an assist? Uh, Ten or greater. It's pretty straightforward. You get a plus two from Ghost. Do that thing. And that other thing. <laughs> Hurry up. We were being obnoxious. <laughs> have, how many 20, times have you played this? Josh. What? 26. Engineering check to install the yeah, sure. ground force. Success. <laughs> now we need Ayalisi to transfer charge. To Oop, charge it back done. up. It's magic. Okay. All right. I think you get a damage reduction, a flat damage reduction of five, but I'm not sure. If this doesn't do what we think it does, this never happened. <laughs> All right. You What's have, it called? You... Brown force field? All right. You got your brown force field because, you know, you got to keep brown things in. <laughs> it's like, you know, the pirate who gets his red shirt and then gets his brown pants. Yes. All right. Heading back the way you came. Oh, yeah, go through that uh, other door now. Yeah, back towards the computer room and the other door. Uh, yes. I found it. Uh, page? Page number 205. Okay. Force field. You can activate or deactivate your armor's force field as a standard action. When it is active, the device generates an invisible force field around you, including all of your worn and carried items. It blocks solids and liquids, but not gases or light, including laser beams. You can breathe while the force is active, but you cannot eat or drink. When it's active, you get a number of temporary hit points, depending oh. on its power. All damage dealt to you is first subtracted from its temporary hit points. Force field has fast healing, meaning that it regains hit points at a fixed rate every round at the end of your turn, up to its max. If it's reduced to zero, it is inactive until the end of your turn, when the fast healing restores some more hit points. The charge, oh, so it's not really damage reduction, it's temp hit points. There's also a problem. What's that? It takes two armor, slot, takes two armor upgrade slots. Oh, and your armor doesn't support two? I only two? have one. Let me just double check that. I'm pretty sure I only have one. I have thin plate. Second skin supports two. We can put it on someone who's got second skin, I think. Oh, well, I, don't can, know. I think we can handle right, this after the fact. Yeah, I was going to say, wrap right. it up now. You guys can discuss it for sure. All right, so you head back to the... Bob? No. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Apologies. You head back, back the other way you came. You, I assume you're opening the door? Uh, we scan for traps and all that. Yeah. Um, Luke, listen in field. Oh, and who's taking the second arc emitter pistol? Somebody should. Yeah, we grabbed it. it we'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll have it. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, let's go. All right, so you, you find one more set of... Uh, large set of double doors. Mm -hmm. you open those to reveal... 
Oh boy. With its vaulted ceiling and smooth stone floor, this sprawling cavern has the appearance of a primitive shuttle hangar or landing bay. An impressive an impression reinforced by the presence of a starship taking up the majority of the space. Only the western wall is finished with the ceramic metallic plating found elsewhere in the complex. The remainder of the cavern is hemmed by natural rock walls. Huge doors stand on the eastern wall of the chamber. Doors easily big enough to accommodate the starship parked in front of them. Starship? Of more immediate interest, however, are the two human bodies splayed on the floor just inside the western doors. Their internal organs spread artfully on the floor around the corpses. The captain and first officer. Of the Acreon? Yes. Well, it's everybody. Does that mean we own the Acreon now, too? No, uh, no, no that, that's, that's the whole Hearth Travel versus collection. Astro Collections battle. Oh, yeah. We, we don't want to get in the middle yeah. of that fight. <laughs> so we don't own the Drift Rock and we don't own the Acreon, but we own anything on the Drift Rock we can carry away, basically. You own exactly. and, the Star, and the Sunrise Maiden now, which I would expect you guys to rename. Yes. <laughs> Bad luck to keep the nailed name of a ship. The Ghost Extra. The Ghost Rider. The Ghost Rider. <laughs> I sure, like the it. Ghost the Ghost Trigger. It's very The Ghost ghostly. Trigger. The Ghost Trigger. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to remember if Ghost Rider's horse or motorcycle had a name. You can look it up later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it didn't. Bad. Okay. I, I like the ship, but uh, I do not like the hmm. ceremonial ritualistic dead bodies in front of the ship. Yeah, perhaps, we, perhaps we should investigate these bodies how long have they been dead i could do a medicine check if that helps <clears throat> do you need it or yeah, they, they, they've been dead a little while not not can, can we not I, yesterday but i mean were they killed ritualistically or did they just happen to be disemboweled not ritualistically okay but clearly different than anything else you, anything else you've seen dead i mean you can certainly make a run for the ship and try to get out or you could stick around and try to figure out what did it how far away is the ship the ship's right there like I, I, 10 feet 30 feet it's it's 25 feet away 30 feet away I feel as though our job here is complete. Uh, perception check. What do we see? Actually, Adam, Adam, I lied to you. It's technically called Hell Cycle. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, perception was 17. You see a um, sign coming down that says to be continued. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wait, wait, did we search the two bodies and did we find anything? Nope, to be continued. We haven't, walked, continued. we haven't walked into the chamber yet. We just have the door open. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. That means there's a fight coming, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Damn it, I was going to lose a Benny. <laughs> oh, uh, Benny count? You're at full three? I think I think everybody has... You can't have more than four. I don't... Uh, more than four or more than three? More than three. Everybody has, I think everybody has their three. Okay. What, so. Can I use one on the first roll of the... I have never used one yet, so whatever number should be. Is... Yeah, I think you're at three, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, there was there was a battle with more void rates, which I thought was just a waste. And well, the robot, guys... the robot, we were just traced right over. Yeah. Unless those were intended to weaken us for the boss battle, we would have just killed up. Yeah. You guys just traced over it. Well, um, that was fun. It was nice to do some hack and slashing or yeah. blasting. Yeah, well, so you know, I like the dungeon crawl. So here, here's my my intent. Excuse um, me. Jeff. Let's try. We'll, we'll we'll have a little bit of we'll, we'll wrap up the last bit next time we meet. It should take less than an hour. Sure. Um. So the you 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 found the. Are you listening still, Mikey? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So I'm gonna diverge quite a bit now from the adventure path. Um, I'm gonna. You found the the weapon. It's related to the. Gate of the Twelve Stars or something like that. So there will be 12 MacGuffins to find. You will be in contention with other groups to find them. You won't find them all. They will get some ahead of you. Should we just learn this in character? You don't need to tell us in advance. I'm, I'm telling you where oh, we're going to okay. go as a group. And you can tell me if you don't like My okay. intent being that every MacGuffin will only take two to three or four sessions at most. I want to move things along. I felt like we kind of we started out really good. And we kind of slowed down a little bit. And granted, we, part of that was our meeting schedule. But I want to keep things moving and exciting. Um, I have some, some really, what I think are good ideas that allow us to have some very different kinds of adventures. Where some will be some RP and some will be puzzle and some will be combat and so on and so forth. So I'm hoping everybody's on board with that. I dig it. Sure. So. I'm still not. Yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm still scratching the itch of tactical combat. I'm still enjoying that. A yes. Lot. Oh, yeah. Yes, and that, that, that's that will, mixed in there entirely. That yeah. will be part of the whole thing. Go, you know, cool. continue on. So we're not going to get rid of combat. 
Sounds good so, to me. I like the setting. I'm, I'm enjoying the setting. I want to play with it a little bit myself too. You know, to get outside of the confines of, of this and give you guys more of what your backgrounds. I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with Adam's background. Um, you guys are giving me a lot to work with. It's easy. Hmm. Um, Jeff's background, I have some stuff on. I can work some stuff in with. Jules gave me something. <laughs> Better than nothing. Better than nothing. So, um, yeah. Sounds good, man. All right, so you said we're it. three weeks away, Bob? First week of March, I am game that Monday. Okay. Um, so that would put us March uh, 2nd. Game night schedule for... Oh my God, I have to go way to the bottom here. Uh, and then I can do 23rd if you guys are game. But, I mean, I can... I can skip a session. You, you guys will be fine. I mean, you don't. Who's gonna, gonna, who's gonna roll every skill check a hundred times? Yeah. Higher right. than every other. Who's gonna roll, roll natural three and come up with a so, we, so next next one is March second. I'm looking right now. Hold on a second. I'm trying to find the schedule. So that would be two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, Bob, I have a way is 224. Yeah, we, we have 3 2 listed. Then on 3 9, we have Bob Tosser, New Zealand. Confirm New Zealand. 316, Amy has friends here, so there's no game. Bob Tosser, New Zealand. Still New Zealand. Do we have all the uh, tips? I think uh, so. Clear on my side. I've turned mine on. So, I have two phases I have. Mid March. Well, you're, you're a 3 9 and 316 your way, Bob? Yeah, that entire week, New Zealand. Zealand. What about 323? You said possible India. Good. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do another trip to India after two weeks away in New Zealand. No way. All right, so we're looking at 32 and 323. Yeah. I might be able to dial in. Remote okay, remote. both of for New Zealand. Those are good for me. Puerto Rico. Oh. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll send out the email tomorrow. But All right, gentlemen. Okay. All right, guys. Good job. Nice. Nobody died. Well done. Good night. Nobody good died. Almost like yes. kill you in the morning. Nobody died yet. Yet. I would like to try one of these days to pure, kill pure zero G, just to see without the the help. I don't think it's going to go slow. I think it's just going to be different. I still think it's going to. I, I I honestly I wasn't as prepared as I wanted to be for that. I was last time, but I had I'd forgotten to reread it again, and I just wanted to move us along. Gotcha. So I'll take the I'll take the blame for not uh, doing that right. Oh no worries, no worries. It was fun. Oops. Shutting it down, guys.